Last time on Metanoia Blues, the crew of the Ephemeral Chaos is in the middle of a risky gambit. As part of a deal to stop Captain Meraldine Frostroot from selling secrets to a rival fleet, they have agreed to steal from Prince Culbercon, the leader of the Dire Sharks. The heist was going well, with only a few minor hiccups, when Willow triggered the alarm on the safe, which alerted Culbercon that something suspicious was going on. A clock ticking, and decided to make a scene of the crime by trashing the room, when they discovered that someone was at the door. It turned out to be another infiltrator, a masked elf named Gardenia. Between Anne's quick negotiating, Willow's stubborn tenacity, and Gardenia's threat of making things ugly, the group decided to on a temporary collaboration while they escaped the Killjaws. Luca played the part of helpful bystander to the hilt, charging into the flames to receive a hit to the face from a disguised Anne. This gave N the opportunity to dive out of the ship, swim to safety, while Luca helped the members of the crew to quell the fire. Meanwhile, Willow and Gardenia escaped on the fake merchant rowboat with Culbercon's entire safe, hidden under a collection of cheap hats. But the crew of the Ephemeral Chaos hasn't made their escape yet. Culbercon can smell trouble in the water, and there's still the issue of who exactly hired Gardenia, the elven assassin, and how to avoid being compromised by her. So let's pick up with our big boy, Luca. You have successfully convinced the crew that you are merely a bystander in all this mess. Yep. With your hella performance check. However, you do still need to be able to leave the ship. Mm. What did the boat that I used to come here, is that still here? Um, you can call the cab again. Okay. Oh, it's a cab. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's basically like a ferry. A sea cab. Yes. A scab? No. Okay. <laughs> Taxi? Yes. Nice. Taxi? Like on the sea? Oh my god, taxi! Yeah. Okay, right. we are. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> So, there's a little bit of chaos going on right now as uh, various crew members are dealing with putting out the fire and witnessing the just tremendous fuckery that has become of the captain's cabin. (laughs) This is maybe the first time that a good chunk of them have actually seen the interior of this room and it is trashed Uh and robbed. There, you bounded through like the broken door over a cabinet that had been pushed over to barricade it uh the carpet is gone (laughs) a lot of the weapon racks are empty uh the safe that was a hole in the wall yeah there's there's a big old gaping emptiness (laughs) where something was crowbarred out uh ashes of feathers and paper uh, and fabric are everywhere. The bed has been shredded <laughs> and then set on fire. <laughs> it's it's a mess. It's a mess. Look, uh, looking around like, yeah, Anne's been here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Think, <laughs> Luca just like right? hands on the hips going, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to think that one of the pirates who's never been there before is like, dang, his room's kind of messy. Is it always like this? <laughs> <laughs> a captain's kind of a slob. <laughs> Whoa. What's he with the strange slapped twist? upside the head by the quartermaster. Um, <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. Uh, yeah. Um, there's just a lot of chaos. Uh, how do you 
leave this situation. Well, the quartermaster kind of seems like he's in charge, right? Yes. In this area. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to them, whoever they are. Um I'm gonna say it's like a A, a, a very strong armed dwarf with a sort of long braided mustache. Think a little bit um, red like Zeph from One Piece. Hell yeah. But short. But tiny. Short and Mini squat. version. Fun sized, as the chocolate mm-hmm. companies say. Um, gonna like, like sidle up to him and be like. I'm willing to bet this isn't meant to be like this. I don't think you receive an answer in the form of, like, being addressed. I think it's the quartermaster shouting at the, Who the fuck was on guard? Was he? How was did the this quarter- happen? Was the quartermaster involved in the fighting? No, the quartermaster was having a nap. Oh, no. All right. Um, does he know that I'm here? Because if I, I thought he knew I was here, if not, I'm going to try and be the other way. Make a stealth check. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, I have disadvantage on those, don't I? Yeah, you big beefy boy, you sure do. Oh, clap of your ass cheeks, please. Clap softly into this sweet night. Oh. <laughs> no. <sighs> like, you get a little bit further away before it's like, and who are you? What the fuck are you uh, doing here? Uh. uh hello? Um. I'm gonna be honest, this looks bad for both of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. We don't have to roleplay this out. <laughs> Give me a persuasion check to uh, be like, ooh, I was uh, up on deck having a, a, a fun little fight with uh, some of your sailors off duty uh, when this happened and I bounded tried, in to try and help, but, tried obviously, to help, I, but... obviously it was too late. Um that's a 25. Okay. Oh, Ooh, shit. Yeah. Okay. That's a, what, what else do you say? What else? You're going to make that a nice, clean 30? <laughs> <laughs> do I need to? I don't think you do. You know like, who's the person that did it, too. If you, wanna, if you want to use a 30 and, like, if you want to use your channel divinity uh, and uh, see the little misdirection... I'll let you do that. Yes, I would love to do that. Okay, with a with a total of 30, you can tell them whatever the fuck you want and they will believe you. You are just such a a nice convincing young man. <laughs> okay, I will plant the seed of Veilia being the one who was here. A yeah, criminal that I think that you we just describe seen. what she looks like. Mm, okay. Uh and it's like, look at all this horrible graffiti that they left behind. Yeah, what's that about? Who who is Lady Ilmarrow? I'm not sure who that is. It sounds doesn't sound good. Sounds ill. Mm, yeah. <laughs> 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 sounds ill. And not in the good way. Bone yeah. Beaten. Anyway. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are able to leave the kill draws swiftly and safely uh, and they like basically say okay thanks for helping out we won't tell anybody that you are here you keep your mouth shut also <laughs> my lip how much do I have to pay to get off this boat um like a silver okay and I'm gonna like sure. mentally start like throwing out messages to end to see if they pick them up. <laughs> like, I'm I'm off. Where are you? 
help me. Where do I go? <laughs> this is just Luca thinking, by the way. Luca yeah. has no ability to actually no. send mess those what? messages. <laughs> but if N opens up the channel, I'll be ready. That's not even how it works. It really isn't. That's well, I don't funny. know that. <laughs> well, and then sends you a message because they will. We'll see how that plays out, won't we? Yeah, yeah it'll be like mid sentence, like, what do I do? I swear it's I like trying good. to send you a message. My just face kind of burns. Halfway through, it just says, help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and that's the end of the message. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Luca, you get to hail a merfolk who basically is uh Did they piggyback the, me the, to the shore? The water equivalent of like a rickshaw. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is basically like an inner tube. <clears throat> you you have I mean, a little rough thing. <laughs> you have like a little wakeboard that you're being tugged along. Fun too. By this merfolk messenger. Can it's I like, chat with hmm. them? Yeah. Make small like, talk, like, hey, yeah. this is a pretty cool idea convocation, isn't it? Do you do this yeah. kind of work all the time? It's, you just, like, have a little small talk with this merfolk. <laughs> Taxi. <clears throat> Taxi! Yeah. I like the idea they're branding of branding with on point. Point. And so, the, like, <laughs> half of the conversation is like, so my name is... First time oh. at the convocation... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Enjoy that conversation, Luca. Mm-hmm. You will. Just having I think. Like, fragmented little conversations that don't go anywhere. Yeah. Help me. Yeah. <laughs> Help. Does N message me at any point? We'll find out. Yeah. All right then. Do I need to do anything when I get to shore? Did we have any plans in place for that or play it by ear? Um, I think the plan would have just been, yeah, con- like he- hear from N, I guess. Like, like look down, check that N's not <clears throat> dead somewhere. And like, you saw N escape. So yeah. You, you know, it's something, but so just look innocent. Yeah. Okay. I'm good at that. Don't be suspicious. Yep. Don't he be really suspicious. is good at that. Don't be suspicious. Yeah, literally. I'm good at that. All You're right, like then. the only guy in our group that can pull that off. Well, yeah. Yeah. I'm also a talented liar, actually, so never mind. I take that back. I forgot about fail. My bad. <laughs> oh, and Varys. I think maybe I'm the only one who can't pull it off. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're kind of sus, but that's mostly yeah. because of the, the social crimes. awkwardness. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, you could be... Up until the point you stole the books from the library, you still seemed suspicious, even though you hadn't done anything yet. So... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna speaking of, fade into the background. Yeah. Uh, I think in that case, that would be another performance check for you to be like, "Well, I've done nothing. I'm just <laughs> browsing the stalls. This is fine. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Thirteen. Not the best. Not the best, but not the worst. But then again, like. You're in a crowd of pirates, so... Can I make it like a perception check to see if anyone noticed that I'm not blending fully? Uh, Just make sure. Sure, make a perception check. Might be people around you know, too. Yeah. Ah, that's a 10. Yeah, it was almost a 20. (laughs) I think you get distracted by... um, another like knickknack seller who's selling okay. like little little mini whittled um carvings of animals made out of like bone is there a dog yes can i please there's is there's also like a little little really fat pony oh oh i want that too is there a and a bird and a fish i would like four little trinkets please Yes, okay. Spend, <laughs> um... Yeah, spend a gold piece to get, yeah. like, four little ivory game pieces, essentially. Yeah. 
That way we can use them when we're planning. <gasps> I'm so smart. Uh, I love the fact that out of the very tense heists that we've just gotten out of, Luca's like, okay, I'm in. Ooh, pretty little trinkets. Like, immediately. I did yep. say I wanted something pretty out of this, so. <laughs> yeah. My, my, yeah. You've got your little Monopoly board game pieces. Yeah. I'm, ca I'm and... cradling them gently in my hands. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, you're admiring just how fat that pony is. It's really like yeah. almost spherical. Yes. <laughs> For a horse. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. While that's happening, let's uh, cut to N. What you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> well, last time we saw N, they had changed into an anonymous kind of face and melted into yep. the crowd after escaping the Killjaws. And right now they're en route to the last place, or, or the place that we kind of decided we would meet in the event of mm -hmm. things going awry and not us not being mm -hmm. able to meet back on the chaos. Um, mm -hmm. So whereabouts, like, surroundings people do you think Ed is at this time? I think you basically took the long way around... Um, to the other side of the floating market using your ring of swimming um and are sort of you have to like cut back across the sort of ringed thoroughfare of like various ships that are bolted together because the floating market is essentially like a bunch of different platforms sort of loosely arranged in like a fidget spinner looking thing yeah <laughs> gotcha. Um, what a way to describe it. And you it. want to go... <laughs> that's what, that's it, the easiest way I can it works, define it works. the shape. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, you want to go to one of the inlets where... Uh, I'm assuming you were able to message Willow along the way of, like, uh, going... Taking the rowboat back to the um, sort of a collection of merchant ships. Little merchant rafts that have been, like, flitting around. Yeah, um, and still has their book out at this point because they have a, a series of little far scribes they want to start shooting out to the appropriate mm -hmm. parties. So first, yes, they are going to message you, Luca. Um, they're going to <laughs> ask, where are you? I'm at the market. I found this cute little shop. I got a present for everyone, but I'll keep it a surprise until then. How did everything go with you guys? That really hurt when you smacked in the face. <laughs> cut off. To, yeah. You've got a 25 word limit. Where? Yeah, Luca <laughs> keeps talking. <laughs> Which stall? <clears throat> and is basically trying to figure out if Luca is anywhere near them. Probably not, but they're just trying to like triangulate where he is in relation to where they are. I think Luca would have known is... like the cardinal direction he went. So yeah. he would Luca have said... would be on the side closest to the Killjaws because the taxi the, the taxi would have taken a straight line. Yeah. Right. So he's like far on the other kind of corner than I am at this yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. And like Willow's in the middle between you two. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully. Uh, um <clears throat> I'm gonna tell him. I still need to collect Willow. Stay out of trouble. I might need you later. Salutes. <laughs> in in the air to no one. Looks like an idiot while he does it. And then remembers and he goes, oh, yes. Okay. Smile face. In his mind, he says smiling face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Moving on to the next. <laughs> uh, this one is Severus. Um and uh, to try and not startle Varys, since this is about the second time Anne has done this to him. So. Uh, he's already, he's braced for this. This okay. was part of the plan thing is like, <laughs> and we'll okay. keep in contact and we'll send messages to you. Wouldn't want him dropping his spyglass into the ocean. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Anne is going to ask him, would it be like Rhaegar to send a Therani to steal from Koborkon during the convocation? You hear Varys' voice come back after a moment. Now there's a question. I'm assuming you ran into some trouble. 
A little bit, trying to gauge how much. I don't know if that's like him. But I couldn't say one way or another. Of course. Well, good to know. It's all Varys thing mm-hmm. to offer at that point, then... Um, I think he might be like, uh... Still onto rendezvous at the right spot. Hopefully, I've got to get Will out of a tight spot first. Good luck. You too. All right, and then the final one goes to Willow. And that one is, keep me posted, I'm on route. If you cease to respond to any form of my periodic checks, I will assume she's knocked you out. If you need immediate aid, respond hot potato. Cool. As you send that out, give me a stealth check, and. Oh. That's an eight. <laughs> cool. We'll come back to that in a second. Where <laughs> are you, Willow? I'm in a boat. I'm in the boat that we used to approach the Killjaws for the heist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm in a hat. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't match with the fabric that I put around me. Zeke made sure yep. to tell me that my hat is ugly. Thank you. Um, I, I said it's poorly made. Poorly, poorly, and poorly matched. Yes. Which is, in other words, ugly. Anyway, um, Willow's going to respond to N, probably just with, um, got it. Uh, it's just like a Roger, but not mm-hmm. Roger. That name has a mm-hmm. stink on it in this campaign. <laughs> Um, and I believe they've just integrated into the merchant area, floating kind of uh, nonchalantly mm-hmm. with, rather in a very non nonchalant situation, un nonchalant, mm-hmm. <laughs> a very chalant mm-hmm. situation. Mm-hmm. I'm stalling. Anyway, hi. So I'm sitting across from Gardenia, yeah? Yep. How long does the safe remain smallened? Only a minute. It has resumed its full size already on the way there, but you have you had carefully placed it in the center and then like covered it with a curtain or whatever. Yeah, I do like the idea of it bouncing back to full size as uh, Gardenia is sitting across from me. Yeah. Where's the safe? <laughs> um. I have a few thoughts to run through first. Okay. So. I will say she did cast mm. Pass Without Trace on both of you mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and did help you row the boat carefully and stealthily back to the less conspicuous area of the merchant thing. And like, she hasn't been actively working against you, mm. but she is an impediment <laughs> nonetheless. Yes. <laughs> Um, can I do a perception check to see what the condition is of the Killjaws right now? Um, you can have done a perception check as you were leaving. Okay. Um, if I pull out the spyglass, can I get advantage on it? Yeah. Just a checking the coast is clear. Okay, if you've got a spyglass, then... Okay. Um... Will say you don't see like smoke anymore, and it's not like super visible what's going on, considering that it's mostly within the second level of the. It's mostly behind walls. Yep. How to describe? What exactly are you looking for? Any sign of the ruckus we've made rippling outward. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, there's certainly, like, more activity on it than when you first arrived. 
yeah. No one's following us. I figure that's I'm confident of yes. that because of our past without trace and my like nat twenty stealth check. Yeah, yeah. Um, you guys have safely left the premises of the kill jewels. Mm-hmm. Now, so now it's just, just the rest. Up. To the plan part. Yes. To the talking to Gardenia part. I will say, the plan on our end was going okay because it was pretty mm-hmm. pretty simple. Like just. Well, the Meraldine part was to go in, get her contract, get the Sending Stone, and, like, dispose mm-hmm. of them. Mm-hmm. Our additional plans were to frame Veilia for this so that they don't track us down or track anyone else down. Spin it towards the Emerald Claw because Colbocon has something to do with the Emerald Claw, which we found out in Regalport. Mm-hmm. Um, embarrass the crap out of him, basically, by yep. pinging him mid-convocation that he's getting robbed. Mm-hmm. Um and then just basically make mess of his reputation. But now there's a Thorani here. Mm-hmm. And I think Willow's attention is going to turn back to her. Um, quick check in my mind. She had an accent, yeah? Yes. Could that be an accent that indicates she's from a particular place? Um. Make a history check. Eighteen. Okay. So what you know is that like Thorani pre-split was part of House Fjarlun and Fjarlun had places all over Corvair. Mm-hmm. So while she has an accent that doesn't necessarily mean that um, she holds any loyalty to that place it is likely just where she grew up or spent a majority of her youth there yeah um, no the thing i'm checking for is if she has that orthos uh... <laughs> no it is not an orthos accent okay not like that makes much of a difference but just checking in anyway. no. cool <clears throat> so yeah her accent is not indicative of anything Yes. Are we just sitting kind of silently across from one another? <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, she's gonna make a perception check on you. Me too, on her. Oof. Cool. Uh, I would like you to make a sleight of hand check to conceal your tattoos and other f- identifying features. Goodness gracious. Is there anything I can do to get advantage on this? No. Okay. Well, that's fun. Maybe. Okay. Cool. What do you want to perceive about her? Anything to indicate, just anything about her, anything of note, anything interesting. I do want to know who sent her, though I am leaning towards, uh, I'm leaning towards a specific thought, but like, I want to know who sent her and her vibe. I guess that vibe is an insight check. Uh, uh, you know what? Specifically, maybe her tools, weapons, whatever she has on hand. Mm-hmm. What kind of danger I'm in? Okay. So, her most defining feature is this uh, carved wooden mask Mm -hmm. over their face. Uh, It's this earthy brown with a green stem rising out of the right side that curls up partway to a carved out gardenia flower, Mm -hmm. which is where, uh, like, on the right cheek. Uh, and there are carved white flower petals flowing off it to the left side like they're caught in a breeze. That's pretty Um, cool. Yeah, it is nice. Uh, she's elven. Uh, probably older. Her ears have like some nicks on them. 
uh, from like years of probably tough living. Hmm. So you'd estimate she's probably up there for an elf. Um, she's wearing sort of nondescript but very high quality leather armor um, boots. She has some daggers, a short sword, um, a little hand crossbow, and like a set of darts. That appear to have various functions. You certainly heard like something being shot, and you know that she incapacitated mm. the guard outside the captain's quarters. Yeah, she is not decked out necessarily, like, to kill, but she looks ready for things. She's got some some pouches and stuff that's hiding tools of the trade, probably. You're not entirely mm -hmm. sure what, but it's, like, clear she's on a mission. None or of was. these things, uh, what she says she's going to uh, unlock the safe with? No. Or at least, if there is something, it's, like, hidden in a pouch somewhere. Yeah. Like, a 24 perception check is pretty high, uh, but it's not, you can't see can't through. Can't see through metal, Kent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? I would say, judging by her build, um, mm. she's probably very used to outdoorsy work and she's very light on her feet like she could probably do a backflip cool I've just imagined so many ways that I can die in this situation with this whole description <laughs> mm -hmm. not die but easily be overpowered or otherwise taken in yes um uh, also, she's short. She's, like, barely taller than Anne. Ah. No. Like, 5'4". <laughs> we'll see if we end up fighting Aww. on the floor again. Like, the last person <laughs> my height that I encountered and had to fight. Oh. Everything you just said immediately was like, oh, but she's small. I just, no, I should know from N. Small can be so scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's condensed rage. Yeah. That's the one. <clears throat> it's like a neutron star. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Okay. Hey, does that, was that perception check versus my sleight of hand, or is that separate? That perception check was versus your sleight of hand. Ha! Ass! Cool. So I think the two of you are just sort of sitting in the rowboat and. Gardenia is very casual. Says Nice ink. See why you'd want to uh, avoid it being seen. Pretty distinctive. We're always going to ignore that and um, say, don't suppose you're going to just let me take the safe. Not without making sure there's nothing in there that I need first. What if I said I'd deliver it back to you? Why would I trust that? My friend said that we're friends. That's what friends do. I just met you. 
and I was not born in the last century. Hmm. Lily glances back out. Don't suppose that's how you expected that was going to go? She shrugs. You gonna get in trouble? I'd be more worried about yourself. Lily is going to make little twinkly hands under the under the sheet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, I'm not going to call it a sheet fabric. It's a it's a cape. It's a cape. Okay. Well, they make it's little twinkly a, hands under it. Yeah. Hmm? It's uh it's like a little satin cape. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna say, what did she just talk, say to me? You gonna get worried about myself? Yeah. Oh wait, no, I can't say that because N said something different. Never mind. Willow shrugs. I mean, it's going to be strange if uh, evidence of a Thirani is found at the scene, considering everything else. I didn't leave evidence. You didn't. Good. Then there's nothing to worry about. I think Willow's going to start looking over the safe now. Mm -hmm. Now that we're out of the moment of immediate tension, what tool are you planning to use for this? I'm going to start casting... No, hmm. Let her answer first. There's just like a flat look and silence. Excellent. Um, Willow's going to start ch uh, casting Identify. She lets you. <sighs> okay. Uh, give me an Arcana check. Ooh, very nice. Okay. So, part of the Identify spell is, like, obviously learning what spells are affecting the safe but the arcana check is to understand closer intricacies about it. Mm -hmm. So for example, you have the basic like alarm spell, the basic warding and abjuration things on this safe that's standard Kundurak tech. You're looking at the glyph of warding in specific. Mm -hmm. um, the glyph of warding will set off a deadly detonation <laughs> if it is triggered and the trigger is if anything inside the safe is removed without the glyph being touched by the key that opens the safe um, say that one more time uh, so anything removed without the key touching the actual item like physically no, the glyph oh, has to be safe. touched. Oh. Ah. The glyph inside the safe has to be touched by the key that opens the safe. Otherwise, removing anything from the safe will trigger an explosion. And when you say uh, deadly detonation, like AOE style? Yes. Okay. Key has to touch the glyph, disable more or less. I'll say on a on a twenty Arcana check, you can know above board like the intensity of the explosion. It would be five d eight fire damage. <laughs> and what kind of range? Um. Uh. Fifteen foot cone originating from the safe. So basically, out of the doors. <sighs> Does that mean it would destroy the things within the safe because they would also take that fire damage? Yes. Anything that would be susceptible to fire damage would be destroyed by it. Okay. Oh boy. Question. Um, mm -hmm. What's the deal then with negating it? Like what does disarming this without the key look like? So you would have to succeed on a very difficult Tinker's Tools check uh, to try and 
mundanely disable the glyph of warding without triggering it. You do not have the ability at the moment to disable it with magic. You would need either dedicated tools or to find a suitable scroll, and that stuff is, like, very difficult to come by, you know? It's like, how do I disarm this uh, electronic bomb without setting it off? Mm. You know? Willow would absolutely have a copy of the Anarchist cookbook, I'm just saying. Yeah. <sighs> If they didn't write it themselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. that, you know, it's like the kind of thing like, well, if I had an EMP, I could get this, but nobody sells EMPs. Mm. And I don't have and the I ability haven't... to make one. I can't make it tool for the job. Give me an hour. <laughs> N- no. Okay. You do not have the, you do not have the I'm capability the of casting dispel magic. Right. Okay. Thinking, thinking. Well, okay. First of all, the fact that it gives out the 15-foot cone. How wide is this boat that we're on currently? Um, I believe a rowboat is not very big. Yeah, it's uh, like one one person height if we're just an or like two person height if we're in a, it's a rowboat. Damon, it's one size. Damon long. <laughs> <laughs> um and an N wide. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 uh, five feet wide and ten feet long is is your standard rowboat. So yeah, it would kind of engulf most the of the rowboat. Boat. Yes. And uh, we're in a populated area. Yes. So we can't be doing this here. Um, Probably not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, don't also. Can't take it back to my boat because she refuses to budge, and that would be a big old security breach considering who she probably reports to. Um, but I would get better chances of doing stuff if I took it back to my boat, would I? Um, it's possible. Possible to get a better chance. However, yeah. I am also thinking that if we keep, the longer we keep this safe, I just my general surface level understanding of Colbercon is that he's gonna come back and start looking for someone to blame. I don't yeah. want him mowing through this convocation searching for whoever took my safe, you know? Mm-hmm. Um so my goal is to get this stolen from as quickly as possible and then discard it and make it yeah. look like, you know, everything was destroyed inside it. I would love to reactivate the glyph. Um, but I kind of don't suspect I'll be capable of doing I'm I'm not even sure if we'll be able to deactivate the gif glyph. Mm-hmm. The gif. Turn it into a web P. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, thanks for catching that. <laughs> <coughs> there so, you. As you are computing all this, Gardenia mm. says, find out anything good? Well, it's deadly. So we can't do anything with it here. Are we waiting for somebody here? Just waiting for the smoke to die down. Hmm. And giving me a second to think. Question to Zeke. Uh, I had one more thought. Ooh, you said that we could technically... It's only if... Okay. Is it only if we remove it from the safe? It's only if you remove it from the safe that the glyph triggers. So we can put our hands in there and look at everything and then leave it in the safe and then explode it, Yeah. Presumably. Presumably. Presumably? That's not something that... (laughs) As far as Willow understands, yes, that's how it works. Okay, so we can get our mitts in there. We just can't pull anything out. Take it out. Yeah. Is that going to come down to a roll? Of, like... Because I've I've failed worse rolls. (laughs) I got stuck in a carpet last episode. (laughs) It is very much a game of operation... Yeah. Of like, so, don't touch the sides. <laughs> so the two options don't that take I can it out understand, of the thing. Yeah, uh, we can try and 
do all the operation game while in there, or I can try and see what she's got to work with and see if we can disable the glyph. Yeah. Or whatever. Okay. Yeah. But she won't tell me what she's got to work with. Yeah. Um. Hey, where's N? Has N pinged me in a minute? It feels like it's been a, a bit. Probably in this amount of time that they, they have sent a ping. I imagine they're pinging pretty much in like five to ten minute intervals. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you coming to me? Speaking of that, uh, yeah, oh. let's uh, let's resolve what's going on with N right now. <laughs> oh no! As you pretty badly failed your stealth check, um, mm -hmm. you sent your let's say uh, first and second ping to Willow when you. Uh, find your way suddenly blocked and bump into a pale lizard folk guy who's uh, wearing right. kind of gothic cowboy getup has <laughs> little pince glasses on his snoot one of his eyes is like a a washed out green and the other is like this bright blue heterochromia you see actually closer that there's like a, a almost pinkish sheen to his scales as in he's not naturally white in the sense of like Usually, lizard folk of his type would have some sort of pigment on their skin, but through whatever hereditary weirdness, he's like without pigment. Like an albino. Yeah, it's it's specifically uh, leucistic albinism. Mm. All right. Well. Uh, as interesting as that is, I do have places to be, yes. so... <laughs> yeah, uh, and he kind of gives you a big old leer, is like, Nice book you got there. <laughs> and ke keeps walking, like they didn't hear him. Hold on. Uh, puts a little claw in the back of your collar. Before we turn, the camera is facing N's face. Before N turns around, there's the biggest eye roll they've ever had in their life. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're going to turn. They're just in a, a random face, so they don't look like N right now. Mm -hmm. They turn and give the lizard folk a smile. Sorry, what? You got some weird magic on you. Don't we all? <laughs> he tilts his head and does a little sort of like clicking laugh. Seems like it's getting a little too big for your britches. No, oh, and you think your britches are bigger? You have a lot of sawbones. Look at that for you. Is he talking about my eye? He seems to have picked up the vibe of your magic in some way. <laughs> ben raises an eyebrow at him. Can I pick up anything magical about him? Um, make a, a perception or insight check. Uh, same diff. To 19. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you sort of open your senses a little bit and you can feel you there's a similarity here. What? <laughs> of he's also got something weird going on that is if not necessarily the same, but alike to your own magic. Uh, huh. And you quickly pick out that he is like a pirate from the Chaos Fleet. Oh. 
Well, that's interesting. Is the heterochromia at all involved in this? Can I tell anything about that, or is that just uh, his no. The, the the heterochromia is, uh, as far as you can tell, natural. But taking a closer look, you can see sort of like similar cracks uh, between the scales on the backs of his hands. You got a recommendation? That Sawbones? <laughs> None other than myself. Tell you what, you seem like you're in a hurry. Ask for Angel Eye aboard the Abyssal. Sell wrong the ports of Southern Carver from Cubar to Zandric. And it was kind of giving him the up and down, like obviously kind of scrutinizing. I will also say on an insight check of 19, this guy is shady as fuck. Yeah, he just invited me aboard his... <laughs> <laughs> I know about the Chaos Fleet. I learned about the Chaos Fleet on the way here, and he's inviting me aboard to a quote-unquote Sawbones. <laughs> he's the Sawbones. He's yeah. the doctor, yeah, is just, what he's doesn't saying. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, come aboard my boat with my saws. <laughs> <laughs> My saws, your bones, how about it? <laughs> <laughs> Little velociraptor click and laugh. Oh, boy. Oh, no, don't do that. I'll get so scared. <laughs> That's the point. Isn't that I'm cool? A... No, it's Sarah's scary. actually scared of Jurassic yeah. Park. <laughs> the desired um... intent of Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, it works on me. <laughs> I think Anne's going to ask uh, in response to that, what's in it for you? Oh, call it a little bit of uh, academic curiosity. And gives him a big, sharp toothed, like, grin smile. I'll keep it in mind. And then they're gonna kind of, like, pull their shoulder out of his claw and keep moving. Yeah. Yep. Don't be a stranger. Calls after you. And is going to flip to a not far scribe page of their journal and write down everything they just picked up off of that guy, including physical description, name, the name of the ship. It's as much as they can jot down from that encounter, but they have bigger fish to fry right now than whatever that was. Mm hmm. Annoying. <laughs> hey, that's um. Hey, Hums. Scared. <laughs> Worry about yourself Good. right now. <laughs> Good. Cool. What's up? Back to Willow. Okay. Does N want to ping me? Do we want to try and do a ping transition? Yeah, so N just kind of pings you, check. Still alive, musing over my options. Yeah, and we'll probably leave it at that. Feel free to text me back. Will am I set musing over my options? Um, and then might run something by you actually. Um, okay. Options? Question mark. At the moment, thinking of sailing out and attempting to disarm on the water. Thoughts? I can swim to you as long as I know where you are. <laughs> Willow kind of smirks out loud. <laughs> Can you? I got this far, didn't I? Hmm. Um. Lily nods internally. They don't nod out loud like Luca. They're not Luca. <laughs> um. Uh, okay, so N can make their way to me. They know what the boat looks like if needed for backup purposes. This is Mim talking now. Mm -hmm. Um. Is this. Uh, so the smartest. The, the best option I seem to have at the moment is trying to get her to help me disarm the glyph. Because I don't really trust the operation game thing. Mm -hmm. And arguably, if I don't want to be immediately compromised, if... Mm, can I do a belated insight check to see if I already am? She saw my tats. But I don't know if she's put that all together. Yeah. Uh, make another insight check then. 
19. She does not seem to have put it together. <laughs> okay. So I'm still, that is both a problem and a boon. She has, I'm not out. Uh, sorry, I'm not compromised yet, but it also means I can't use the things that would compromise me, which is all of my uh, tools. So maybe I will have to bank on her trying to help me. Yeah. And me trying to help her. Just above game. Cordelia keeps rolling so bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, in her description, I, she dies. Uh, in her description is written like she's a great judge of character. That doesn't necessarily mean that she is able to remember people. She's old. That you know she's how, like, never met. Yeah. She's got a job to yeah. do, and it's not this. It yeah. sure isn't. <laughs> Identifying like... Willow Jenkins is not part of the job description. Willow's no. dead. Like that's a dead trail for like four years. Yep. Like so, what? What she's sitting here thinking of this person that's sabotaging the ship is definitely Willow Jenkins. No, nah, it's just a person with tats. Oh no, a pirate with tattoos. No way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, now I know why you were being invisible all the time, not just for tactical reasons, but also because you'd like have a very sort of distinct look about you. Not that I recognize it from anywhere. But, <laughs> yep. You sure are an individual. <laughs> well, that gives me a level of safety and confidence then to participate with her. Yes. But first we need to set some ground rules. Um, okay, so the other the other thing is that like on a 19 insight check, um, let me do a a general demeanor check for her. Mm-hmm. Roll another one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, not a one. Hey, hey. Two? Doesn't succeed at your. <laughs> Was a six. <laughs> oh, but those are bad for her. Yeah. <laughs> like, at this point, it just seems mean. <laughs> Look. She's not a front man by any means. <laughs> yeah, she was supposed to get in there, steal the things, and leave and not talk to anyone, not encounter anyone, not converse or interact with people. Mm -hmm. This is not her strong suit. Doesn't... I'm basking really... in my laughter now. Like, it, we'll laugh while it counts. Cause yeah. <laughs> yuck it I up while you can. Rearing back. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah, okay. Um, well, you know what? I feel vague. Wait, so she's. Anyway, uh, that being said, like, mm. <laughs> meta her failures aside, um, because that's not how this game works, or rather, that shouldn't be how this game works, is, like, mm. she, in this contest of insight versus deception, you have succeeded on the insight. Um, yeah. She is trying to measure you. She does not distrust you in the sense of, like, she's not afraid of you. She doesn't think that you'll do her any harm mm -hmm. uh, or necessarily that you are going to interfere with her goals, but she also doesn't trust you. So at the moment, she's kind of, like, babysitting <laughs> is the attitude. Yeah. Which is fair because she's, like, probably you don't know how many years old. 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 You know, old for an elf. Old. Yeah. Older side of okay. middle aged for an elf. Yep. <laughs> Which is old. <laughs> yep. <sighs> okay. Um, I think Willow will then. Okay. The threat is not immediate. I just need to basically set some parameters, right? Mm hmm. Willow will say. I don't know if they said this already. Um, but I think they're going to sort of pick up the ore and say, the coast is probably clear enough. I don't think it's safe that we start fiddling with this in the vicinity of all these merchants. Mm. All right. Garnelia picks up an ore. Mm -hmm. um, and then while they're rowing, um, I would have cast Identify as a ritual, by the way, so that was like 10 minutes. Yeah. At least. Um, mm -hmm. 
Willow's, while they're rowing, probably going to say, say, since we're, um, friends. What do you say about striking up a deal? What's the deal? Well, I already opened the safe. And I suspect that your tools might help us disable the glyph. But I would like to have a first look at all the contents. Assuming, of course, that we're successful. But I suppose we don't have to worry about the failure. We'll be incinerated. Lightly, anyway. You might be. Are you what are you looking fire? for, exactly? <laughs> I was looking at her wooden mask, like, immune to fire. Uh, what did she say? What are you looking for, exactly? Are you not flammable? I'm good at getting out of the way. Oh. What are you looking for? Not really your business. Yeah. Well, uh, we're at a bit of an impasse, it seems. I mean, it's not what you're looking for. How do you know that? Because it's not about Lyranda. How is she going to get out of the way? Is it like a dodge? <laughs> Will is still musing about like, how are you not going <laughs> to? You don't see anything like magically impervious about her. But it's she seems very confident in the fact that like she will not get burned. If an explosion goes off. When explosions go off, do you roll like does it hit a AC? It's a dexterity saving throw, usually. Um, oh, okay, so she's just dexterous. Presumably. She's a spy and an assassin. She knows how to backflip. You just said this before. Anyway, um, who knows? Willow is, like, doing maths of, like, <laughs> calculating the volume of a cone and how far you would have to backflip with how much force to, like, avoid yeah. being hit by the fire at all. Hmm. So it's not the kind of thing where my shield, for example, would help. No. Okay. And s I don't have Sanctuary equipped, so don't worry. I don't think it would have helped anyway. No. I've been joking about having Absorb Elements equipped for this because I keep talking about getting lightning blasted out the sea. That's like, Willow said yeah. that like three times now. So I'm like prepared yeah. to be electrocuted yes. constantly. So that's why I'm like, I should have it. I guess I am confident too then, but then too, but then just also means that the shit's going to get exploded inside. Which is not great. <laughs> but the stakes are slightly lower because at least I won't die immediately. Hopefully. Probably, maybe. Mm. Just out of curiosity, what's your HP? My HP is yeah. currently at 31. Thank oh, you. Oh, okay. Because you, so you, you couldn't help just... me. Take it to the face. You couldn't just no, take it to the face. I'm not a paladin. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the I think Luca would risky. be hard. I feel like Luca would also be hard pressed to take uh, 5d8 fire damage to the face. I have 43 <laughs> HP left, so. 43 HP. You've, you've fallen to a fireball before. Yeah, but 5d8 is 40 points at max. <laughs> So I would be left for three HP. So <laughs> you lost your arm. <laughs> and Maybe. How much? Probably. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, it was Bones or whatever his name was. <laughs> Who's Bones? Sawbones. Bones. Sawbones. Oh, no, saw yeah. Bones. He, he yeah, sawed okay. my bone. Took my arm. <laughs> it was very sore. Anyway, and did you have any words to Willow when we were talking last? Uh, over fire scribe? Lots. Yeah. Before taking a dip. Um. Yeah, I mean. 
All I can think at this point is if we're kind of communicating the idea of you going out into mm -hmm. the vast ocean to try and pick this explosive thing uh, and would be wary of the fact that it might, it might still explode and you might get very hurt and if you're knocked unconscious in the water that could be a death sentence so N wants to be near enough yeah. to be able to um, uh, touch spare you, the spare the dying uh, on you before mm -hmm. you do that they don't necessarily have to be within the explosion explosions range but they can with the ring of swimming and the potion of water breathing, they can hang out in the water for a prolonged period of time, and they would prefer to be nearby before you risk this, just yes. yep. so they can save your life if they need to, <laughs> because no one else is going <laughs> to be around you. to do it. By the way, I think Gardenia is saying, uh, let's go to the other side of the sandbar. Quieter, shallow water. So which sandbar? Does she mean the one that the convocation's happening at? There's a bunch of them, so... Okay, a different one, then. Yeah. Okay, no, no, uh, Willow would agree. Um, as long as it doesn't look too sus, the reason why we hung out for a while was so it's like, oh, we're accounted for in the immediate yep. aftermath. If we were guilty, would we do this? Sits in an open area for the like, 20 minutes. Um, the, the thing is, I think Willow will coordinate with N, then. It's like, I won't leave until I know that you're, like, aware of where I am. Or know to follow. That kind of thing. Yeah, if I if I can get, like, a general mm -hmm. idea of where this sandbar you're gonna head to is, then mm. I can head to it as well. Yeah. Um, Willow, I'd like you to make a survival check. Okay. 14. That's good enough to give and directions. Nice. <laughs> Turn left at the ocean and sail on through to sunrise. <laughs> to... <laughs> and like, what? You read directions with the stars, <laughs> and Ant looks up like, I don't know how to read this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nighttime. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Oh, N, you got. Oh no. Anyway. Okay. We can talk about me later. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, 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 okay. So it's dark, and we're at this mm -hmm. sandbank now. I have, yeah. I've, I've probably told N, tell me when you're near, so that whenever N is nearby, I know we can sort of get into it. Um, did she respond to my so-called bargain? No, re not really. It wasn't even a deal, really. Willow keeps nope. misusing words, yeah. but... Impasse, because um, you wouldn't tell her what you wanted. Yep. And she we won't tell you about her tools, words. so. Oh my god. I'm going through my mind. What did N tell her? That we are here on account of behalf of somebody? Yep. Um, essentially what N told her was, yeah, we, we were robbing CobraCon for someone else, not, not for mm -hmm. our own personal gain. Uh, initially, we weren't going to it wasn't going to be a smash and grab and it wasn't going to be so chaotic. That wasn't the initial plan, but mm. because, and didn't say this specifically, but the implication was we set off the alarm on the safe. So we started to mess shit up uh, as yep. the alternative plan to make a statement was in specific words. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, what I stopped myself from saying before is that we don't answer to anybody. Yeah, that would fly in the face of what N said. So yeah. that's what I figured was, yeah. Yeah. Because then I can just say, you know, it's for my own curiosity, but like we have implied that we're working for someone. Um, Willa doesn't want to tell her that I want to find Miraldine Frostroot's contract and rip it up. Well, you don't but have maybe to say I that many words. Say, <laughs> yeah, no, I could, I might just Okay, I think what Willow will suggest to her next is um, all I'm after is one contract and one sending stone. All right, then. No. Oh. <laughs> Provided it isn't a Lyrander contract. <laughs> Please. Willow seems a little taken aback. She wasn't uh, the one expecting her to be okay with that, but okay. Little 
well, you can't see Willow's face very much, but there is a smile. They've been talking with their head down under a big old hat for this whole thing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, so now they'll probably... So, now that that's established, can you please let me know how you intend to do this? Proprietary tools. <laughs> Somehow the hat makes like a deadpan expression. That accomplish... Disabling the gillif. Just like that? Just like that. So, she's agreed to the conditions. I get dibs. You get to and remove... So danger. Yeah, you get to <laughs> remove one one contract and one sending stone. I mean, I would like to look through them first to make sure it's the right contract. Yeah. So I'm free to look through them first. That's what I'm taking away from this. Yes. Because how can I find the contract I want unless I look through them all first, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so that's the established thing. I'm so used to hag dealings and warfred that I'm, like, triple checking. <laughs> yes. Obviously, she is going to watch you the entire time. Yes, I would like to conceal it from her so that they don't see the big old swooping Meraldine Frostroot autograph. Or anything to denote a sea dragon. Autograph. Mm -hmm. I called it an autograph on purpose because she okay. made that comment during the meeting. Okay. Um. Okay. Does that sound clear? I'm gonna get the table on this one. Does that sound clear to everybody? <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm sort of half expecting her to shoot me with a sleep dart immediately and then, whatever. But like, you want to insight check her? Oh yeah. Thanks. Make sure she's not lying. Check. 18. Seems legit. <laughs> how are you going? How will she confirm mm -hmm. that it's not a Lyranda contract without seeing who it is? She'll trust me, and probably because there's other Lyranda stuff in there. Okay. If it doesn't um, have a big old Lyranda stamp on it, yeah, okay. that's the only thing she needs to know. Okay. Yeah. It's one of the contracts. I do want to look through the other ones just in case, because if there's, for example, traders elsewhere that she might want to know about, then I want to tell her. But, um, yeah. Or oh, rather, I want to know. <laughs> the undercurrent of all this is I'm also just nosy and I want this information. Yeah. But first things first, I need to get the contract. Well, we need to get the glyph disabled. And then also I need mm -hmm. to get Miraldine's contract so that she isn't compromised mm -hmm. immediately by whoever this is. <sighs> because whether Raiga or Coulton sent her, because that is the text of what I'm implying, um, they're allies, and if they find out Meraldine's a traitor, it might not go down too well. <sighs> All right. So, okay. Am I just letting her do the glyph thing then? Can I give her advantage? Is it what is like? I I don't know what she's talking about. This proprietary tool thing. Yep. Can I ask to look at it? No. When she brings it out, can I look at it? <laughs> you can try. Yep. What's the button for that? Well, she hasn't done it yet. <sighs> okay. Okay. So. So, and we want to be in position before you start messing with it. Yeah. yeah. And give me know. a survival check with advantage. How do you like my swimming? <laughs> uh, yeah, that uh -oh. attracts. No. Oh no. <laughs> and you realize you are lost. Oh no. Oh, I wouldn't have started talking unless N pinged me. Unless she prompted me. So I'm going to hold I'm gonna hold off then until N comes. Like if she starts, I'm gonna pause her. Get a little lost really? yourself <laughs> before you get to the sandbar. Yeah. Oh no, like, I think, because I've already started talking, I think at this stage... Is it's going literally to just like, I'm, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for a friend. You can just say that. Can I? I don't want to say that ends here. I want to keep ending my little secret. <laughs> little. In little which case, sand. make a deception check. Ass. Shit. Okay. 
if I fail this, then I'll just tell her. It's fine. <laughs> tell her. It's not in the stars. 11? I think Willow's stalling and it's probably clear that they're stall- oh, I don't know. You tell me. You're the DM. <laughs> she tilts her head. You waiting for your friend? <clears throat> Willow nods. <laughs> you have a way of contacting them? Her? <laughs> Willow pauses like they were gonna say them, but they're like, wait, no, for Ilya, of course. Um, Willow just um is going to look outside the boat, just gonna lean out and have a little glance around with the spyglass. Make and a, not answer her. Make a perception check, flat roll, it's nighttime and I have dark vision and a spyglass. Yeah, but not not that far oh. out. Okay. And are you signaling in any way? <laughs> You're far scrubbed. Drowning? I'm lost. <laughs> How are you doing this? Are you swimming? Wait, let me say that again. Say what? Am Please. I swimming I'm... yet? That was unclear. Am I swimming or I am I just finding started... a place to jump off? I, th I think you found a place to jump off, but you, you like went to one of the sandbars, but it's not the right one. I'm standing there shrugging my shoulders looking this way and that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I might be out out on a sandbar right when I write yeah. this. Yep. Yeah. It's like, can you give me any other defining characteristics of your surroundings to orient myself, essentially? <laughs> well, it leans outside and it's like, surrounded by water. <sighs> um, they are going to give you directions, like according to the place well if there is a particularly bright star that we're sitting under well no no because that won't make sense to you like <laughs> i barely saw the stars so like, back in sharon man i don't know what that shit is <laughs> <laughs> what's a star or like the, like isn't that a rich people the... thing oh my god i could just light a lantern for you but then other people can see us yeah that's the problem it's fine <laughs> Okay, Willow's going to try and give you another sense of set of directions. I mean, it, the, the, the other other things is, like, everything is relative to the floating market yeah, and the exactly. other ships yeah. around you. So That's it's like, which saying. ship can you see from here? <laughs> it's like trying to orient yourself by, like, which buildings do you see? Yeah. <laughs> which stall are you up. at at Coachella? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking for the safe at the sandbank? Yeah, so if Willow could give a little bit of that information and we'll <laughs> get back in the water and try again. <laughs> Make another survival check. Straight or? With advantage, <laughs> you are being given directions. I'm just this leaning just... silently. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. okay. Nice. 17. It takes, you, tired. it takes you another 15 minutes to like swim the good thing is that it's like because of the ring of swimming uh it's the equivalent expenditure of jogging of energy yeah. in terms yeah in terms of expending energy it's like jog trying to jog across a field yeah for you cool well but before... it does take extra time yes and gardenia is just kind of like cleaning her fingernails with the <laughs> the end of a dagger <laughs> yeah, I think before and left the previous sandbar, they probably would have checked with Willow, like, should I come in covertly or should I just show up? Willow's gonna say, she still thinks you're Vey, but she knows you're coming. Noted. So, yeah, when and shows up on the proper sandbank, they'll be wearing Veilia's face. Yep. Yeah. And also, Willow would have told you, like, the rough uh, area of effects of the fireball. So basically, like, stay out of range. You could come closer, I guess, now if you wanted. Do you want to come say hi? She already knows you're anyway. Yeah, I think... And we'll come up on, like, the far side of the sandbar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you can see that they're there. And they'll offer a wave and then just kind of sit down at a distance. Yonia says, so, we good to go? Flips her knife and stows it away. 
suppose that's up to you and your proprietary tools. Oh. Cool. She will uh, stand up and uh, move over to the safe. Make a little sleight of hand check. You would like to contest that with a perception check? Fourteen. Ooh, you just managed to catch a glimpse of it. it looks like it's a <gasps> scroll of some kind. Ah, okay. No, that's cool. Because what's the failure? What's the word I'm looking for? Possibility of failure on scrolls. Uh, Do they fail? They can fail. Um. But they're pretty reliable. Okay. Is there anything I can roll to figure out what kind of... When she says proprietary, is it like... Oops. Like, what does she mean by that? What she means by that is none of your business. (laughs) (laughs) Can I do a check to see if I know any scroll? Make an arcana check. Eighteen. Um, considering the effect that you want, it's probably something that will either dispel or suppress the magic, which is not something easy to come by. Okay. Okay. So. Pulls out the scroll. Quickly fumbles with the interior of the safe. She raises her head at you and says, take a few steps back. Let me just check something real quick. Hmm. I don't think I will. Willow is going to just sort of stand nearby. And sort of gesture at her, like, no, I'm cool where I am. Your funeral. Can I give her any advantage on this? No. No, because it's a scroll. Because one, it's a scroll. Two, she's not accepting your help. (laughs) Willow's going to ask. Do you hint? No. I mean, I already unlocked the safe. Do you ever shut your mouth? <laughs> okay. You hear a little bit of whispered murmuring, and then there's a sort of noise. She says... All right, Uh, and basically like scoops out the entire contents of the safe and like (gasps) dumps it onto the sand outside of the boat. Why on the sand? Okay. Because where else is she going to, where else else is she going to do it? Because she's about to kick the rowboat out into the ocean when the safe stops being disabled. Oh, I see. Okay, good. Oh, cool. So it is a temporary disable spell. Yay. All right. Sweet. Cool. Going to hop out and grab what I need. Okay. Make a perception check. (laughs) Everything's covered in fucking sand. (laughs) Beyond that, though, there's like, oh, boy, there's a lot. There was a lot in here. I think Will is going to hop hop off the... uh, the boat with like a thank you, Mr. Rani. And then um, as they look at the mess, it's like, oh my God, <laughs> it's everywhere. Uh, and is keeping an eye on Gardenia during this, by the way. I think since you're already here and she already knows you're here, I might call you over. All right. Is that fair? Yep. Okay. Gardenia like shoves the boat out to sea and like 
a couple seconds later, you just hear a loud <sighs> as Oosh. the safe's uh, like belches fire, burns the rowboat and starts sinking. <laughs> <laughs> like a Viking Will funeral. Yeah. <laughs> there go uh, all the uh, hats, by the way. Yeah, I know. My hats. <laughs> <laughs> in a fail. In a fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll you in fail. Um, I put so much work into that. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We got you a nice pair of bed sheets. I got a nice hat from Cobra Cut. I'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, nice hats and shoes. Yeah, I'm decked. Yeah. Um, yeah. I also feel like will it, part of their low perception is their stupid floppy hats getting in the way. <laughs> yeah. Can I do a perception check? Yes, so been, perception in, or investigation at this point to like I've been invited over. Mm-hmm. If you could lend your eyes, Miss Cultist. Thirteen. Okay, make a deception check also, Willow. Why? Because while N might be a convincing actor, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Gardenia is like standing on the side and is like <laughs> You're not really a cultist, right? And Vaeli is going to put up the middle finger again, what she did when she said uh, for Lady Ilmero, and she put up her middle finger previously when she said that, and she's going to do it again. <laughs> Look anyway. how Snickers, Snickers about it again. Shout uh-huh. out to my unnatural one. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> I want to see the other stuff. What can I? Can I roll investigation? Okay, well, uh, I we haven't settled yes, mine um, yet. Yes. Oh okay, yes. So. Sorry. <laughs> like I literally haven't described the contents of the safe yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's all been kind of like tossed, and it's in like a little bit of a messy pile. Uh. Mm-hmm. So there's like various contracts, uh, letters, paperwork and so on. There's the five sending stones, ten bars of gold, uh, uh, six potion bottles, and a little bag of gemstones, uh, as well as a crow skull. Uh, At a first glance, it's like, ooh, this is, it's dark out, and uh, there's just a lot of paperwork with fine handwriting. I'm not going to be able to pick out the exact one at a glance. Hmm. Um, so you will have to sort through them a little bit. Yeah, uh, you can make an investigation check. Gardenia's just gonna stand to the side and say, pick out your stuff. Uh, you can, maybe Willow can make it with advantages, because it'll help them go yeah. through the documents. Oh, cool. Good. Thank you. Uh, Gardenia is keeping a close eye. Yeah, she's probably noticing Veili is also glancing back towards her periodically. 16. Okay, yeah. With a little bit of time, you managed to pick out um, the letters, uh, sort through them quickly. Uh, contracts of various spies and traitors. Uh, seems like there's like two or three in most of the major f- fleets, with a notable eight among the sea dragons, of which yeah. Meraldine is by far the highest ranking. The rest of them are all just like various swabbies on ships and stuff like that. Where it's mm. like you're you just work here. You're literally just like some guy. Mm-hmm. Meraldine's the, the only office. captain. Yeah. Meraldine is by far the only captain. And by far like the highest ranking at all. Like nobody even comes close. Nobody else on these spies of the sea dragons are like actually notable. Um right. <clears throat> Uh, and there's like written threats in amongst them of like what or how Culbercon will collect his due should the contact be broken uh, there's also a couple of contracts between House Lyrander and the Dire Sharks uh, and a signed letter from the Emerald Claw promising financial awards in exchange for services if you want to look closer at them, I can tell you more. Yes, please. Uh, 
Yes, so... I'm curious too, so one or two spies in every fleet. So... Yes. Curious about the Whisperer's one, if that's the case. Um... Looks you say, to be Orkana, like... I'm, I'm quitting this game. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, no spies aboard the Storm Chaser. There are, I think there's like one on the Zephyr and maybe one on the Blue Buster. And they're both right. just like random able sailors. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm looking within. Uh... Um, yeah. The contracts between House Lyrander and the Dire Sharks are for protection at sea, safe passage, mercenary war- work, and premium rewards for re- recovering stolen goods. Uh, <laughs> one of the rewards is also, like, promised for, uh, like, financing or uh, basically providing labor and materials for uh, civil development in Port Verge. Right, yeah. And the letter from the Emerald Claw promising financial rewards in exchange for aiding their holy warriors on missions in the Lazar Seas. Uh, right. The other thing. Let me go look. Where's the desk stuff? Uh, yes. So the. Uh, and you s- discover the same names that were on the contents of the second drawer. Uh, the names seem to be, like, the people who are signing these contracts from Lyrander and the Emerald Claw, respectively, are Viceroy Irwin de Lyrander in Ter Velestas and uh, Castellan Wolfrun Grimwald III. Alrighty. Uh, with the Emerald Claw kind of contract, is there any specific like passage regarding how they would be punished by Colbercon if they broke this contract, or is it the other way around, or what's binding it? <laughs> it's 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 more like a general agreement of like if you do this, we'll give you this. I see. They are treated more as equals rather than Yeah, okay. Employees. Okay. Uh, also, also, I will say you have found the matching sending stone for Meraldine. You, she showed you the original one, so you know what its pair looks like. Mm-hmm. So you're able to retrieve Meraldine's contract and the sending stone. Excellent. Uh... I think well, Willow's not going to Willow's going to make the best effort to not let those be seen by Gardenia. Mm-hmm. Do I have to roll for that, or can I just tuck them in my pockets? Uh, roll right for away. that. Make a slide a hand check. Or I guess I could just immediately destroy the contract, but still, I have to be sleuthy. Can mm-hmm. I take the Lyrander Oops, contract? Sorry, I'll be normal. No, I, I wait. Just hold that thought. Um, can I take uh? the Lyrander contracts? and offer them to her in the same moment Willow's going to try and pocket Meraldine's thing. Sure, that will let you have the advantage. Oh. So, oh. we'll keep that roll. Oh, she is! Ah! Thank you. <clears throat> so that's a 22. Gardenia pauses for a second and accepts them. Sure, thanks. Hey, what do we do with the rest of the treasure? Oh, you want that? And points to the gold bars. Hmm. More interested in the potions and that little bag. Oh, aside from the treasure, I figure we should just destroy the rest of it, or else it's going to be pretty obvious what got took if uh, someone in particular finds it. Sure. Besides, the safe blew up, right? Willow's looking at some of the remaining contracts, even after pocketing Meraldine's one. Um thinking very deeply about the implications of whoever else might be outed with these contracts. Uh, 
let's let that just be a quiet aside is what I'm kind of focusing on at the moment. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'd be asking for um, some of the gold. <laughs> Don't give it all away, Anne. Willow's in their thoughts. Oh, I'm not giving it away. I'm taking it for us. Oh, he said she I doesn't want the gold. She was more interested in the potions and other things. Anne's going to scoop up the gold bars and put them in a new pile for you to pocket. <laughs> Yes. Right. And you have okay. potions. These hands. So you don't need those. <laughs> you don't know what the potions yeah. are. Oh. Is the other thing. We don't know if they're healing potions. Okay. Get, give we them to Willow. Give them a sniff. Try and split them. We just split them. Oh yeah, you could bring them to me for a look. While I'm lost in my thoughts. There's also the weird uh, crow skull. Yeah. Were I not okay. distracted, I would be analyzing those, but I, I am a bit distracted. I'm just going to roll a quick fortune check. See if anybody noticed that burst of fire on the outskirts. Yeah, we can't hang out here too long. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. That's what I'm thinking too. Like, we should someone... They sh I want them to see it and know that it's here so that they don't look elsewhere. Yeah, um, but Anne's main thought is we need to destroy the contract so they don't every, know which one yeah. is missing. I still... Or I could take all of the contracts. Our deal was only the one, though, so I don't know if we need to renegotiate. Oh, yeah, with her. Well, none of them are interesting. Well, the only, that's, sorry, that's why I was looking specifically, but that's an assumption of which ones are air quotes related to Lyranda. Um, anyway. As you're pondering this, Gardenia says, see something else you want? And with an arm full of gold bars. <laughs> She's talking to Willow. I know, I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and by N, we mean Vaelia. Yes. Sorry. I'm using course. them interchangeably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just funny to imagine her standing there all like stony lipped with a pile of gold in her tiny arms. <laughs> May I talk through a thought process real quick? Sure. Willow was under the. Willow was thinking. Willow has jumped the gun in a way ha by thinking she is probably working for either the Sea Dragons or, sorry, for Raiga or for Coulton. Heavily leaning towards Coulton. If so, then Coulton should know, or rather someone should know, about the fact that there are traitors in the Whisperers. And that has hit uh, what happens next, though. Do I give these to her or do I keep them? Will this get all of these people killed? If should you be making some this. sort of saving throw, like emotionally, just saying, like you know, I've <laughs> been in this situation <laughs> before. You know, like what would happen I mean, to me I'm, if I was I'm... the one on this contract? <laughs> what do you mean? Like no, you know, I, I watch I watch someone get executed for being a traitor. Yeah, so I'm just like, so... I'm just thinking about like what happens now. I'm saving Meraldine from being dealt with. As a is the only reason why I am saving her because she is useful to me and am I now going to condemn all these other people this is a kind of like short long and short but, very long quiet brain activity happening with Willow Yeah, if we destroy the contracts they are no longer beholden to them yeah but you still have the you know how you, you have can like take all the sending zones and be like hey just so you know <laughs> jobs off wink yeah, I am considering sending it to the... <laughs> Hello? Corbicon is no longer your... Uh... <laughs> you know how long I to Hey, you up to no good? <laughs> Not anymore! <laughs> Take this as a second chance, bitch! <laughs> yeah. No, I'm considering it, but it means going back on my little deal. But I mean, I've broken packs before, so that's fine. I um, mean, you could just ask her outright, like, what are you going to do with the sending stones? And if she says, like, leave them or destroy them, ask if you yeah. can take them. Yeah, but sorry, I do think that Willow at the moment is tapped out a little bit. Sorry, Anne. <clears throat> That's why I'm saying they should make a saving throw. Fuck them up. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Fuck out. You're welcome. Have you not done enough damage to Willow Jenkins? Okay. Not yet, baby. Oh, is that is that okay? 
you snap back as you do not have time to consider the moral implications of everything that is just happening. You have to deal with the situation right You're now. Welcome. You don't have the time to think about your choices yet. So you need to get uh, time. Will is gonna say, can I take all these? You don't want them anyway. Let me have a look over them first. Hey, Anne, how mad would you be if I destroyed, like, two of these? Contracts? Hmm. Before she got to look at them? Right in front of her? That's gonna be bad. Look for us. Yeah, it would be. I feel like she might get mad about it. Yep, that is gonna immediately make our trust plummet. So, I would say if you're gonna like, do that, we'll... be ready for a fight. Get ready to run? Yeah, so... And, yeah, um... It's only two, right? There were only two aboard the Whispers? Mm hmm They're the main ones I'm stressed about. <laughs> um, sorry, what do you say, Rom? Either show her or find another tactic, because I don't think burning them is a smart move. That's basically burning <laughs> all our good faith. I'm s yeah. Ah! I'm going to like say that my wisdom save helps me sort of think... Not immediately like me, because Willow would burn this bridge. Yeah. What does it matter? You know? I'm not making friends with the Ronnies. <laughs> but you have a different angle. Um, We still have to get out of here. <laughs> I think yeah, as you are stalling, Gardidia says, Why, you got friends among there? I'm... I'm, I'm sending out a Hail Mary, and you want to use your word magic to deflect... <laughs> I don't think I can deflect from this. We have two ah. options here. I just need to hold her horses while I think. <laughs> no, I guess not. We've already spent a lot of time on this, so it's very hard for me to see any way we can really delay this without getting into starting to lie to her. Yeah. Oh, ass. Fuck. Oh, me, me, me. I'm going to pull back to the table. I don't know how to... I don't know what to do. Okay, well, let's... What is the worst that happens if Gardenia gets to look over to that? What's the worst that happens if Gardenia looks over these contracts? She sees she finds out. that there are people among the Whisperers, gets them killed. Willow feels guilty. Now, would that be the case, or are we offering to break these ties, and then, you know, if you have someone who's working as a spy, there's a possibility that, as a fellow spy, you don't... you don't kill them, you recruit them. Hmm. Yourself. Don't help them. I'm, you I'm, literally, you, you could just ask nicely, can you not get these guys murdered? We're breaking the contracts. They don't need to do this anymore. We don't know their situation. Exactly. But the very they might merit, have been coerced. Yeah, but the very merit of us having these contracts and on the trajectory to destroy them, we are already breaking the tie. And if you mm. look at the if you look at the contracts themselves, a lot of them, from my understanding, have certain like stipulations that make breaking it very bad for the one who was put yeah. under the contract. So yep. that in its very nature is evidence that these people are being coerced to a certain degree. We are breaking that. We are offering them another chance. And we are offering that to someone who will understand the merits of a spy operation. Okay. Yep, I don't think Willow's going to be able to come to that conclusion, but if, like, but I agree now with, like, what you guys are saying, so I'm like... Uh, and can start messaging think, you, maybe, if you're just looking like yeah, you're stalling. No, I would say that I think if N kind of expressed that to them, in, like, reported, then... Yeah. Or if you want to talk it out, I don't know, but, like... Or you could just, like, jump the gun and be like... We're breaking these people out of these contracts. Yeah, I, if 
And Willow can slap me <laughs> if I start talking or, in turn. Or, or Anne can ask, like, what are you going to do if you see something you don't like in there? Or, like, what are you going to do to yeah, these people? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anne might take the contracts out of your hands, but they're not going to hand them over to Gardenia. Mm-hmm. They just kind of take them in kind of like, I'm, I'm going to take charge. But they're not, like, immediately mm-hmm. handing them over. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, they're going to ask Gardenia, you know what these are? Best guess. Culbrook on Spy Network. And what happens when you get names of particular spies? Oh, it depends. But it's not my call. Oh, can I just ask if the person who does make the call, do they tend to be a little... uh, sword happy? (laughs) Killing is expensive. Well, here's my suggestion, and they kind of wiggles the papers in the air. These contracts detail some pretty nasty stipulations if they're broken. I'd be willing to wager a majority of these people don't actually want to be in the position they're in. We're looking to destroy all these anyway, break them out. What do you say? Give them a chance if you see a name that you don't like very much. Make a persuasion check. Thank you, Anne. I love you. (laughs) Seventeen. Gardenia shrugs. No skin off my nose. I just want to make sure that there's nothing relevant to me in there. Absolutely. V is going to glance at Willow just in case they're giving them, like, the stink eye, but they are moving to hand the uh, papers over. I think Willow looked a bit sharply at you when you said sword happy, because I don't think I've told you the full extent of the story. Uh, But they've softened to a grateful nod after you've talked it through, because they were not verbalizing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm here for. (laughs) Yeah, no, thank you. Oh, yeah. They look grateful to you cool. under their stupid goofy hat <laughs> and it's a teen clerk uh, Dinia rolled a click uh, a crit on uh, flipping through the names oh my lord <laughs> oh. alright nothing relevant to me in here very free to proceed as we like with them sure thank you kindly Maybe we'll take the papers back and drop them in a pile in front of Willow. <laughs> I'm like, yours now. Okay. Gardenia says, you want the uh, Emerald Claw shit too, considering you're bent on giving them a bad name? Well, if you're feeling generous. And Bailey offers her hand to take those. She'll hand them over. Can I look at the little crow bag? Well, I'm coming what? to my senses after putting all the contracts in my pockets. Yeah, sure. Make a make an arcana check on this weird crow skull. Eighteen. Uh, looks like it's been ritually prepared so that you can use it to cast a spell. Any spell or a specific spell? Uh, it's a specific spell. You. Uh, I think this is not one that you know of because it's outside of your wheelhouse mm. for a bit, so you'd, like, need... Uh, uh, an 18 is pretty good. It's some kind of, like, divination spells, so... I like divination. <laughs> um, it's, like, a little bit weird. It looks like some um, Blood of Old preparation for an augury spell. Okay, and I don't know what augury is. Um... I think you were only familiar with it in a very specific context, so you haven't seen it used this way. Okay. You're used to sort of the Weather Watcher style augury, which is pretty limited. This is yeah. something else. But hey, if, if okay. it's connected to Blood of All, yes? Yes. Mm. Then maybe we can show that to Gardini and be like, hey, this is probably also related to Emerald Claw. Can we take this? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to silently give it to N. <laughs> I think what um, 
yeah, Gardenia has handed the Emerald Claw letter to you. Uh, I think she's just like picking through uh, the rest of the treasure. She'll take one bar of gold. Um, she's welcome to it. <laughs> and the little bag of gems and a couple of potions. Oh, she's quite frugal. Mm-hmm. She only has so much space on her person to hold these Also, she has oh. a house backing her. They can get her whatever <laughs> they want. Need the cold <laughs> right, yeah. so we true. are poor forgot... merchants. <laughs> I forgot not Apparently. everyone is hanging on by a thread the way that we are. B- banking on Damon's 10 platinum that he left us with. Now you got some gold um, bars in your pocket. Consider that. Yeah. Well, I mean, if she's not going to take it, then yeah, I'll take it. We'll just leave enough to know that this is Colbacon's safe but like nothing to implicate anybody not us mm-hmm. or not her and not any of the people who are traitors mm-hmm. yeah so we're taking if we're going to leave anything then it'll be like you know cult shit or uh Lyrando stuff mm-hmm. but like that kind of seems like we're taking that so we're just going to hope that they find the husk of the safe yep and know that it's they will empty. find that okay banger yeah. um okay yeah I think we'll so, kind of come back to their senses at least enough to. Yes. Yeah. Take Gardenia takes stuff. her share of the prize, which is not that much. And she says, We'll see each other around probably. Pleasure doing business with you. There's a little mm-hmm. curtsy. The robes. Don't get caught. Uh, and she turns invisible and leaves. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, it's unfailing. A pat's were on the shoulder, like, we gotta go. <sighs> we hang yeah, we shakes it off. Hanging out here way too Hang long. Out. Yep. And we don't have a way back. <laughs> I can swim. I don't know about you, though. <laughs> I mean, I can swim base, like, you know, just by merit of. You yeah, might need to, to call swim. Varus over. Oh, God. Near the. Near the. Sa- we'll, we'll swim to a nearby sandbar. Yeah, can we go to another sandbar? <laughs> Before we. Follow oh, Willow and N. <laughs> I would like to check in with Luca briefly. Make a perception check. Yeah. Wait. Oh. Perception. Eh? Well, that's ten. Uh, should I use inspiration? <laughs> nah. No. Since there is, you're just making your way leisurely back towards where the ephemeral chaos will hopefully oh. pick you up. You see, there's like a little bit of a commotion, but it seems like the I regular like level. This. I don't like this. What's up? Oh, maybe I do want you to take the inspiration. <laughs> No, no. The choice has been made. Yep. Seems like the regular level of noise for the floating market. You wind your way back to where you're if, supposed to have be. I, have I gotten a message to, like, start returning? Yeah, I think N would send you a message once kind of, like, Gardenia has mm-hmm. left the yeah. premises. Like, mm-hmm. head back. Okay. We're on route. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then, yes. Unfortunately, I am heading back amidst that commotion. Okay, cool. I'm gonna puke. With nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Silly little question. It's not the kind of situation, forensically, where the safe, they, they could like pick it out and be like, someone stole all the contracts! Oh. No. It's just gonna be like, it exploded. Yeah. I mean, contracts get... Contracts are paper. Incinerated. So, yeah. You can still probably find the sludge ash or something, but anyway. Who knows? Not my problem, not my division. Let's worry about what you just missed out on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's Let's bring the anxiety back. Yep. You're so mean to me. What have I ever done? Yeah, Everyone well. is so mean to me. I really what, need to draw what, that. What have you ever done to me? Oh, Willow should roll a wisdom save to see if they're traumatized by this moment. <laughs> oh, you enjoyed it. Anyway. <laughs> and it helped you snap out of it. So I helped you. <laughs> okay, thanks. You're welcome. Zeke? Potato. Yes. Continue. 
I give you permission. <laughs> <laughs> we go back to uh, Ann and Willow. Oh, great. <laughs> Hi. Um, your turn to uh, return, or rather leave this secondary location. Have we started swimming yet? <laughs> I mean... Well, start swimming now. Might make, as well. Uh, make a stealth check and flat Willow with advantage. Stealth? Yeah. Okay. To, to swim back without... Yeah. ...being seen. Ooh, very, very nice. Oh, nice. nice. Look at that synchronized swim. 22 twins. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, and I would like Willow to make an athletics check. <laughs> and and has great. the ring of swimming, so... Yes, I'm good. This is about how easily you are exhausted by the... Ooh. Oh, very well, very well. Good job, you guys. Ooh. Cool. Clears my head a little, too, so I think by the time we arrive at the next sandbank, I'm like, it's finally, like... I feel a bit more normal. Yeah. 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 By the time Went we to... get there, Anne is no longer Bait Elia and is now random face number 14. <laughs> Willow pretends to jump. Ah, who are you? <laughs> it's a secret. And uh, badly kept one, it offers you a high five. <laughs> and we'll gladly accept. Hmm. <sighs> Thanks for the quick thinking back there. Don't know what happened. Well, I do know what happened, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Fair enough. Still need to get our asses out of here. Not really the time for deep and meaningfuls. No, it is not. Uh, Willow's going to do a perception check, I guess, to see if anyone's on our ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll also look. Thirteen. Could be worse. That was with my spyglass, too. Could be a three. <laughs> Could be. Could be. <laughs> Someone out there will have a three. I don't know who, but. <laughs> Do I see anything? No. <laughs> okay. As far as you can tell, you are alone with N on this other sandbag. Uh, <sighs> I'm going to say N, you're just like, you leave that to Willow and. Like you do a quick glance around and then you start pinging Varys or Luca. Yeah, I probably pop my book. Coordinating open. efforts. Yeah. Willow, you have the sending stone that belongs to Meraldi. I do. Um you, I believe the plan was to message when confirmed. Yeah, I'm gonna take one more look at the contract. I'm curious. Because I'm gonna look it over a bit closer now that yeah. you know ends writing. Okay. Okay. What exactly was on it? Like, what are the kinds of threats and what was the deal? What was the <clears throat> arrangement? Um, the deal was... Um, in broad terms, uh, it was you will report uh fleet movements and pertinent information pertaining to the sea dragons and Riger in specific uh, of what business deals he does in exchange for certain payments you will make these drop offs in secret uh, and uh, I will pay you large amounts of money if you break this contract or uh, are caught uh you will feel the full weight of punishment. I will make your life a living hell, basically. <laughs> so, carrot and stick. Right. Sort of thing. I kind of want to wait till I'm free. Like, when I'm like in the home stretch of, like, haven't been busted. Mm -hmm. But what mm -hmm. should I send it now? But was probably musing over this while just, like, holding the contract in the sending stone. Mm-hmm. And it's probably keeping an eye out for bears, the chaos. Mm -hmm. Are we safe on this? Should we keep swimming? 
I guess there's a different lack of safety from swimming. Well, as I guess muttering to themselves. Message her now, message her later. Hmm. Fair enough. So have you messaged Varys to pick you up or to pick Luke up and then come pick you up? I mean, probably get Luca first uh, because okay. I feel like the best trajectory is like get mm-hmm. us and then leave. Okay. Mm-hmm. Instead of swinging back I think- around for mm-hmm. Luca. Um, okay, I think Willa is going to decide to message her because she might be able to say stuff. So Willa is going to say it loud enough, I guess. That and oh wait, no, sorry, is this psychic or do, do I say it out loud? You do say it out loud, but you okay. receive the message telepathically. Okay. Or at least in your head. <clears throat> um, Willow's going to say, Good evening, dance partner. Consider this confirmation. The deed is done. Well, in progress. How are things on your end? Cool. You hear back the voice of... Tarek Elham. Ah. Oh, yeah. Saying. Excellent. We will rendezvous. He gives you a location mm-hmm. on the outskirts of the floating market for the exchange. Glad to hear you made it out safely. Willow like jumps. They look like they're gonna drop the ascending stone when his voice comes through. They don't know why they didn't think he would be the one to answer it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, jump scared. And mm-hmm. I think out of instinct, they go back to say, "Wait, no, it's probably not a good idea that we meet up now. We haven't shaken them off out, and then they remember that it's a one time a day, isn't it?" Yep. Yeah, so that they can't hear them. <laughs> they don't know about rendezvous, rendezvous right now. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Look at and what's the status? <clears throat> what's what's Luca and Varys' status? And we'll be checking in with hmm. them. Luca, what's your status? <laughs> Have I been Single. picked up, or am I standing here looking like a fool? <laughs> You've been wow. picked up, yes. <laughs> you have made your way over to get picked up by Varys. Have I been picked up? Is all good? Yes. Am I safe? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> do you want to make a perception check to find out if you are? Oh my god, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> a- a- 16. Okay, yeah. You think you have successfully blended into the crowd? You are able to... Uh, quietly board the ephemeral chaos once again and uh, Mm. help Varys set sail for where you're supposed to meet. Hey. Um, One thing I'd like to also do while we're waiting is I'd like to just have a brief glance at my umpire's coin. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, true. No spells that you have not been aware of have been cast on you. All right. I don't know. Roll that on my fingers. I think the last, yeah, I think the last spell that would Willow, you had cast on you was the illusion carpet. Oh yeah, if I decide to, probably I think Willow's kind of come up to N and just like is resting their forearm on N's shoulder, watching them write, Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. and like upon seeing if they remember to check the umpire's coin, it's like oh yeah, well. No modified memory, so that's fine. <laughs> um, yep. Willow will ask, How's our helmsman? On his way. Uh, yep. There's reports that uh, all normal. As far as we can tell. heading in. Neither have been compromised. No sharks in the water? Can't see any fins, so. <clears throat> well, it's 
left is getting out of here. And then... You can make as clean escape as you can after that mess. Cool. A little while later... Uh... Varys arrives in the distance, uh, and you are able to swim out to him. You've all reconvened. Pockets full of treasure. So much. Sending stone so in hand. <clears throat> My gosh. Varys says, looks like there's been a bit of a commotion. I imagine we won't be able to stick around for long. What sort of commotion? Heard there was a fire somewhere aboard a ship. Really? It's pretty Blue bad. In. Pretty bad for ships, right? A fire aboard? Hmm. Ships are waterproof, not fireproof. <laughs> yeah, generally. Well, hopefully the crew's safe. Hmm. From what I hear, they're very sturdy. Sturdy people. The captain must be embarrassed, though. Hmm. Will I trump well, sure off? Th sure there'll be a lash and due for somebody's negligence. Luca makes a face. Glad it doesn't nose wrinkle. Hmm. Hopefully felt most by the captain himself. Reputation is everything in the Principalities, isn't it? Your boat being on fire is certainly a reputation. Hi. So, let's make our way forth. I'll do a quick... I'll do a quick squiz of the room. I... It feels... I guess it might just be the remaining, like, tension. But mm -hmm. I feel weird not doing, like, checks. Mm -hmm. More checks. I don't have detect magic up. Um, and I do checks help. on the people because that's my yeah, kind of wheelhouse. Sure. What I'm, I'm doing my. Uh, has everything been compromised? Anything been compromised? 22. Yet? And I got 24. What I'd like to do uh, while you're doing that is I'd like to cast detect thoughts and see if I can find any thinking creatures that are not these three fuckos. Okay. Thank you. Um, and make a perception check with advantage. Can you actually post detect thoughts in the... Papa. When you cast a spell so. as your action, uh, during the duration, you can search for thoughts within 30 feet of you. The spell can penetrate barriers, and then it has a list of barriers it can't necessarily penetrate. You can't detect a creature with an intelligence of three or lower, or one that does not speak okay. any language. That cuts Luca off, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean to him. Um, I think there's a brief blip on your radar, N. Uh, of somebody that is not uh, one of your crewmates. Whereabouts? A little bit behind you. And then it's moving away. And it leaves your range. Man, when I look in that yeah. direction, I don't see anything. Nope. You have a dog. Tell me to chase. <laughs> can't, you can't swim We're in heavy seeing. armor. <laughs> I have a steed. I do have sea invisibility. Shit. Yeah, Anne's gonna be Anne's gonna snap their fingers, like catch attention and point. We have an intruder. Can I cast find steed and get it to follow? Make a perception check for your steed. Okay. Come here, my big guy. Perception. Which one is perception? Gotta remember. Wisdom. Wisdom. Oh! <laughs> does it not it get the passive, find... which is eight? I mean, eleven? Um, it does not track the scent. It Damn is it! Unable to follow. 
Hold Whatever up. was what? here has left. Can I swout hunt? Uh, sure. You can try and make a perception check with advantage. Has N insinuated that there is someone followed us? Yeah. Yeah, essentially. Okay. I oh yeah, we might as well shift wild hunt. Um. Are you going to use your sea invisibility lantern or me? Um, that was assuming that it was an invisible person. I could. Um, but I feel like it could be all at once. I wanted to perceive first to see if it was like I could see. I can tell that there is an invisible person here. You know. Make a perception check with advantage. You see and smell nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary. You're out at sea now. And this whatever is- was behind N at one point uh, moved out towards the ocean. Can I send Fish Dog out with the sea invisibility? Yep. Make a. Uh... It's a pretty mm-hmm. wide berth. Or should yeah. I just shine the actual light? I don't uh, want to show how... Fish Dog if I don't need to, but. Yeah. Uh, too late uh, how could you. Where's the lantern of revealing thing? I just Google it. Lantern of revealing? I clicked it. I've, nope. That's I've got it. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> um, thirty foot radius, a dim light. Uh, invisible creatures and objects are visible as long as they are in the bright light lantern's bright light. Okay, so y- you pull out the lantern. It doesn't. Uh, this creature, whatever it was, is no longer within the thirty feet range. Um. So, can I? Okay, so I'm kind of got a ping kind of on my radar of the general area of this. Yes, this it has been, it has since moved. Yeah, away yeah, from yeah. Me. I got that. It's moved away from us. I'm wondering, mm-hmm. with my ring of swimming, can I go in the water and pursue that? You can certainly try. With my detect thoughts still open. Yeah. Yeah. So you just might Should see and like throw off their cloak and dive. My gosh, do you want fish dog to come with you with the lantern? I have my detect thoughts. You don't want to show fish dog unless you need it. Okay. Can you end up in ride the steed? Oh wait, <laughs> which one's faster, the, the steed or the ring of swimming? How fast in is the water? The steed's swim speed. Ah, Six- oh, swim speed. It doesn't no have idea. one. Yeah. If it's if okay. it doesn't have a swim speed specifically, it would be its own speed halved. So Sorry, thirty feet. Per- so it's, it's the same. same. It's the yeah, same okay. as yeah. ends then. Yeah. And N is work over. Well, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Go go. I'm keeping a close Make. eye and I'll keep an ear out for you. I will spyglass watch you. Okay. Make a make a Ooh, make a survival check. A straight? Yeah. Can I also use Divine Sense just to see if it's 18. humanoid? Ooh. Oh, Ooh. very nice. Maybe I don't need to. Mm. And it's doing pretty well. Mm-hmm. Should he be telling uh, you? You, you hear the ping once again. Do you want to try and, like, hear the thoughts? Yes. Uh, make an insight check with advantage. Okay. Another 18. Mm. Let's go in. You hear a persistent motherfucker. (laughs) Does that sound familiar? Sounds like Gardenia. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) sweetie. Uh, I'm going to message her. You want something? Well, swimming no in her reply direction. Back. <laughs> <laughs> no reply back. She's gonna try and shake you. Can we, can we tell Varys to follow in? 
Oh, should we just leave in to do this? <laughs> <I'll> pro- <laughs> I mean, if I'm still within range, I'll ping back to you guys already. Gardenia. <laughs> Luca makes a confused face. Like, what about Ronnie? The- oh. I think the yeah, other but- is probably going to, like, get... It's probably an idea to follow. Ends given chase. Okay, um... Make another... Dumb luck survival check. <laughs> uh, I think this is with disadvantage. Fair. At this point. Yeah, it's a five. Okay. She's you still... lose the trail. Yeah, is she still within range? Because if I... She might be in range of message. Mm, Because before she left range, I would have wanted to try something, maybe, but risky. And if she's already out of range. She's within range of message, but no longer within range of detect bolts. Mm hmm. Um. All right, I'll message her. We let you walk. Remember that. And then I'll pop up to the surface for air. Cool. And kind of wave to kind of try and flag the boat down to where they're at. I I think the reply that you get is just business. And's not going to reply back. But yeah, yeah, that's like, yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I am tempted to... Look, I'll just tell, let you guys know the first thought I had was send fish dog with the lantern and magic missile. We don't want to kill her. I wouldn't kill her. It would incapacitate her. Briefly, maybe. You just can't... enough to bring her aboard <laughs> and have a little chat. We can't non-lethally use magic. Yeah, magic missile would not be non-lethal. But I mean, it wouldn't... If I only hit her with one, wouldn't it only, like, not do that much damage? And she'd keep swimming. You don't think she was she'd swimming? Bleeding. She, she seems like she's flying. She's probably on a merfolk. <laughs> <laughs> on a taxi. I feel like she knows, like, glide. Like, one of those kinds of things. She's on a taxi? There's <laughs> just an empty taxi flying around? Yeah. <sighs> I was okay. ride a taxi. Okay. No, okay, Willow's thinking this very much at the moment of, like, if one of the three magic missiles hits, it won't kill her, but it'll make her bleed the same way we did with Dragovich. Is it worth it? Right now we have goodwill with her. Do we? Goodwill? She just showed up on our boat as invisible. Willow's... This is, like, the Willow thought process. I don't know how well they'll be able to reel themselves in from doing it. It's that kind of panic of like, because you kind of assume they're work. She's working oh. for. Us. We don't have confirmation of that. Oh, but Willow has. Hard. I'm just saying, if we start, if we start hurting her, drag her aboard for questioning, she's not going to talk to us. She's a Therani. She's trained for that. Yep. No, I look, reasonably speaking, Willow would not want to make this decision, not only because it's probably not that good to do, but because Magic Missile, Fish Dog, both confirm things about me that I don't know whether she's found out just now. Yes. Exactly. But, oh lord, you get that... <laughs> the full Willow bristle of, like, I can. I, I think uh, as... Like you, as N climbs back aboard the ephemeral chaos, Vera says, Cat's out of the bag. We'll have to wait until it comes home to roost or not. This is a problem we can't deal with yet. We've got other things to worry about. We'll be out of here pretty soon, so. Hopefully, she just thinks we're common thieves. We move faster than her mouth, we'll be fine. Let's get underway with that rendezvous. Are we okay with that? Willow settles. Willow settles. (laughs) 
<sighs> yep, whatever. At least we yep, know. Lua goes inside. Think. <laughs> yeah, Lua goes inside. <laughs> Just grumble something to themselves and go in. <sighs> well, how how did everything go otherwise? Roaring success, otherwise. I think um, that's good. If, if if the coast is clear when we get inside, the coast is clear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We assume the coast is clear now that the yes. Thorani's off our ass. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I think would still have kind of probably the remnants of their detect thoughts when they got back on. So nothing mm. else pinged. Yeah, nothing. Else Willow's pinged. going to hang the um, lantern in a place where, if, like, if anyone comes nearby, we'll know. And then mm-hmm. upon Luca asking, I think Willow's going to go inside and just start dumping out treasure. Yep. <laughs> and and speaking their hands. of which, let me uh, write down the uh, what you actually got from the safe itself. Mm-hmm. Basically, everything she didn't take. Yep. Wow. It's a lot. Yep. Well, um, you two I do- were uh, busy. Will is still pulling stuff. I think they get to the point where they're pulling what looks like a, a big blanket, and they're like, Luca, could you help? Yeah, yeah, yep. Luca does. You pull out a rug, a rolled up rug. <laughs> Careful with that. What? what? Why? And then Willa just keeps unpacking stuff. All of, like, Zeke let me uh, yeah. steal the majority of the books, because I was like, oh, Willa wouldn't have let the books burn. So I got to take mm-hmm. most of the books. Um, and then, like, plopping them on the table, plopping, like, trinkets on the table, and are you pulling, oh, and stuff, the hat, the shoes, bunch of papers, which I, like, I put back in because I can sort them out later. And so, like, try treasures, the hat on treasures, immediately. Treasures, treasures, gold bars, <laughs> and I feel like the, the tension that was with Willow while they were, like, looking at that person and promising mental violence was, like, is beginning to, like, turn into that kind of, like, treasure, treasure, treasure. Kind of <laughs> you sure there. are a pirate. Happy pirate uh, vibes. And, and yeah. when Willow takes out the comb that N stole from Cobra Khan's drawer, and is going to pick that up and hand it to Luca. Something pretty for you. Thank you. I've posted the contents of the safe that you have retrieved. Excellent. The gold bars. I think Willow tosses a gold bar to each of you. They're hefty. Okay, hand Luca, the gold bar to Luca eat. can catch it, and but... goes through the wall. <laughs> Potions of Grace are healing. Able... Ooh, tasty. What's that, Zeke? Uh, they're, they're only a pound, which is like 500 grams, so you can toss them. They're just hefty. <laughs> Be careful. Mm, yeah, there's like a oof <laughs> as then catches it against their chest. Yeah. The rest are dumped heavy on the table. Luca reads the emerald paw litter and like sticks his tongue at it, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not bringing out much of the documents because that's not yes. exciting and fun. But I am bringing out my fun little bookend, a massive trident, a scimitar, mm-hmm. which I am going to immediately um, suggest towards Varys. Varys says, we can go counting our treasures after we've made the handoff. Oh, not to- they're here right now. And they'll stay here, hopefully. When so are you we- imagine? When, you- when are you... <laughs> When are we handing off? I'm not thinking about that right now. And they're playing with the sword. Um, they're going to probably mention, can you imagine? <laughs> Years down the track, Varys Greenleaf meeting Corbicon with this in his sheath. Besides the high prince. Hey, Varys, what's mm-hmm. your shoe size? <laughs> and says, holding up the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Varys gives you a look of like, huh? And he says, no way, we're still... <laughs> Please, please, if the next few minutes go horrifically wrong, at least let us bask in the treasure. Harris, like, rubs between his eyebrows and is like, let's just get to the man. (laughs) Be done with it. Mm. (laughs) Buddy, daddy, Luca says pointedly to the other two. Okay, but once we finish that and holds up a bottle of wine... Then we can bask <laughs> in the treasures. As you say. Oh my god, we got two tricorn hats? 
Sorry. Everyone gets I'm a also hat. wearing a hat then, like, a, <laughs> and then I can like, put on our hats and look at each other. <laughs> yeah. Hats. Hats. God. You're just like kids divvying out Halloween candy <laughs> yeah. in the back of yeah. the ship while Varys is at the helm. And lightly <laughs> bites so the gold trouble. bar. <sighs> Don't you Who is looking through the books? Just making sure it's real. <laughs> Uh, the book subjects are TBD. Uh, yeah. I'll get back to you on that. Okay. You have, you will have all the time in the world. They are very nice books, whatever they if are. If we don't get busted. Yeah. If we yeah. don't get busted we in already the next got two busted. minutes. <laughs> Again, if we don't get double busted. I am so stressed at the moment. This is Willow's like, how can I be stressed when treasures? <laughs> <laughs> it's Okay. Eats ice cream to avoid having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the, this is the energy of this exchange. Yeah. Anyway, so I would like to move forward in time to yes, a lonely little pier on the edge of the floating market. Uh, Varys is going to roll stealth for the ephemeral chaos. Also, I've repocketed all the treasure, like the main yes. bits. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think you were just like, have a, like boat. chest yeah. of holding or something? I did, but I unmade it to make my pocket. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. And probably you use have their, so much stuff. <laughs> their detect mm. thoughts again, kind of as we approach, just, just because they're a bit paranoid now and just mm-hmm. kind of do the rounds on the deck. Have you had a short rest? This is my final spell slot. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a short rest. <laughs> I'll take a short rest if you're offering. <laughs> Can we? Uh, not yet. Okay. Let's get through this and then. <laughs> Evil DM. <laughs> Keeping us honest. <laughs> okay. Cool. Varys pulls the ephemeral chaos up to the pier where the solitary figure of. Tarek Elham and his bodyguard who is kind of glued to his side. The same one? Not fired. Yeah. Same one. Oh, wow. Cool. Probably got his pay docked like gumshoe. <laughs> Thale is here, by the way, instead of N. Oh, hi, Thale. Good. Good. Is Thale wearing a hat? He's putting the hat away. We don't want to <laughs> implicate ourselves in the water. Tobicon's <laughs> <laughs> stolen hat. Yeah. Reluctantly puts it away for now. Longingly strokes the feather. <laughs> <laughs> I will come back for you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> okay. Tarek arrives. Ephemeral Chaos is here. Willow is here. Thale is here. Luca is here. Is Luca okay. here? Yeah. Are you sure? Well, meant to not compromise him at all, but I guess Tarek doesn't know any better. Yeah. I would have assumed I was still on the boat. It's like it's a question of like, are you going to meet him? I mean, I'll I'd invite him onto. Oh, would I invite him onto the boat? I assume so. I mean, if there was a Thorani on my boat a second ago, what's of Tarek? Close enough. <sighs> anyway, um, I mean, would you guys be opposed to inviting him in? No, no. A nice boat. Mm-hmm. Um, then I think Willow is probably going to duck out the boat. And I mean, we've all done the checks, yeah, to make sure that we're not. Mm-hmm. There's no one with him other than Ends done the brain checks. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is really uh, Tara Goham and, and bodyguard. No one in disguise. <laughs> yeah. That kind of thing. Yep. yep. No one watching us. We don't know. Make perception <laughs> checks if you would like to. I would. We're, I would like to know I mean, who's watching this exchange. We're paranoid for so we might as well. No, oh, no, oh, no. Willow. Wow. Oh my god, we did bad. Can Varys make one? <laughs> yeah, Varys can make one. Do I get advantage because I have the tech dots? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god. Nice, Varys. Good job. I'll just roll again just for the funsies of it. 13. Nice. Nice. <laughs> okay. One above yeah. my 12. <laughs> No other thinking creatures are present. <laughs> cool. Just the dumb ones. 
What, what does Varys see? Me. What do you mean, what does Varys see? Is, <laughs> what, is there anything around that he perceives? Danger? No, there is no danger. Okay, I think, can I, can I code Willow's not one as them being just like, Nervous. well, we're already compromised kind of energy and just like popping out of the boat and being like noisy? Not noisy, noisy, but like vocal. Yeah, I okay. think I think the Nat one is more like the you are still very rattled, uh, and you are just not going to be able to be as eloquent. Or oh, great, great! Uh, it's you're you're you are self nerfed because you're shaky. Awesome, that's my favorite, actually. It's, but that's okay because. It's your I haven't usual. been that helpful to me anyway, so whatever. Will is going to lean out and be like, Mr. Allen, would you like to come aboard my boat? Certainly, we can make the handoff there. And your friend, if you want. Congratulations on not losing your job, sir. No. Oh. The bodyguard makes a sort of... Mm, noise. Willow leaves the door open. Look, at tea. Of course. He's a Bruin. Tarek enters the room and says, I assume you're going to be leaving soon. Ah, Fail. Pleasure to see you again. Pleasure is all mine. Yeah, there's a little bow. He's probably sitting, like, by the table. Just politely aside. We've met, kind of, but... My name is Luca. <laughs> Tarek does a brief, like, uh, frown. I'm um, afraid I don't recall. Uh, at the auction. I was there. Luca waves oh. it off. You'll forgive me. I don't remember very much of that event. We have that in common. Pardon? Luca taps his arm, taps his head. I'm sorry. I do not understand your meaning. Uh, brain damage from the war. I'll make tea. Ah. Uh. <laughs> that just sits there. He <laughs> yeah, they all watches Luca go to make the tea. He just was kind of like a politely flat expression. Like, yeah. That's our boy. <laughs> that's well, a, I think Willa does a Luca maneuver. actually choke a laugh at that moment. Like, okay. I guess. <laughs> <sighs> oh, you sure sorry. just said that. You you so said that. You you said it like, like, oh yeah, I was also at the auction. Did you get murdered at the auction, Luca? Oh my god. A little god. bit. Anyway. Not really, not <laughs> comparatively. Relatively okay, speaking, no, you didn't get murdered. <laughs> I think okay, fail fine. to try and smooth this over just a little bit. Uh, is like, how long have you been standing out there? Come sit, come sit. Thank you. Uh, not all too long. So, shall we make the exchange here? Fail looks to Willow. I think Willow kind of was standing next to Luca in that, do you realize what you just said away? But like, when you talk to Clearly them. does not. No, so. it's fine. It's whatever. I will say, you said that the nat one perception means that I'm nerfing. Yeah. I can't believe it's going to happen again. I think Willow is self-aware enough to be like, I can't believe this is happening again. I'm still yeah. not going to be able to talk to him. Like, I can't. I don't. <laughs> It's at least going to start off. Listen, listen, just get things awkward. rolling. Take one foot in mouth and then see if you can move on from there. Well, Luca <laughs> put his foot in his mouth for me. Tell me what Willow's doing if you have nothing to say and uh, Theo might continue the conversation. Willow's facing the stove as if they're helping making tea, but they're not. They're just standing there, musing. Can I make a, a check on Willow? Emotional. <laughs> difficulties they might be having. Did I get a uh, last insight check I made? Did I get info from that? Or can I have that be this one? 
Um, what inside check? I made an inside the, check before earlier, I noticed Gardini like, and we got sidetracked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I Since, think the <laughs> we got sidetracked because everybody made checks at once. We didn't yeah, follow yeah. up on them because you were like, "There's somebody here." <laughs> <laughs> can can we just move that roll down here and pretend I did it now? To give me a twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> no. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Check over there. Oh, twelve. I think you can tell Willow's a little on edge. Because can I tell if it's because of the crimes or because of the man? <laughs> well, considering that your, I'll give you this for your twenty-two. Willow was feeling fine after the crimes. So this is new. Okay. Yes. Luca so understands. The new variable has recently been introduced. The man. Okay. The guy. Yes, the myth, the legend, the <laughs> Um, Yeah, if Willow's not doing anything to move towards us <laughs> making the exchange, then since I'm sitting here at the table with Tarek, um, I'll strike up conversation with him. Did Willow tell you about the part they played in the investigation? No, they did not. It appears towards Willow a bit. Willow's ear is facing you. That seems to have caught their attention a little. You drag them out of their brain. Well, I was in hiding, so I only heard it through the grapevine, as it were. But as far as I understand it, and Thea kind of leans in, uh, leans in a little conspiratorially. Willow diverted the attention of Mr. Bartosz. I'm going to cut you off. I'm going to cut you off. Willow's going to suddenly... Mr. Helen, how do you like your tea? <clears throat> Black is fine. Okay. Fail. We don't need to talk about that right now, I don't think. Fail gives you a bit of a flat look. Tarek gives Willow a squint. Or rather, it's less of a squint and more of a trying to assess you. <sighs> T first, map, then <laughs> farewells, I guess. Sounds agreeable. Hmm. Willow gives Thail a look. They don't actually... If I can give this to you... It's a look of like, I don't even know if I was right to cut you off just then. I just don't... I just don't... It's just instinct. Mm -hmm. Willow is frazzled. Thail is... Deeply. Staring at you. I don't want to say blankly because ends is like very a flat blank, but Thail's is like a polite non-expression. Is the best way I can think to describe it. It's like mm -hmm. it's friendly, Politely but neutral. Yeah, but there's there's nothing behind it. Not like <laughs> <laughs> not good yeah, will or ill will. Yeah, so uh, I'm I'm gonna roll insight for Tarek. Oh. Um, uh, can I give Tarek something with that insight? <laughs> sure. Essentially. Um, Thail is kind of vibing we're not necessarily the only ones who were victims. Maybe not to the same degree, but there yeah. are other people in this room yeah. who had close encounters. Yeah. All, all Tarek is trying to figure out is like, why do I make Willow so uncomfortable? Or what is the what is what is going on with Willow's discomfort? Because it is like very plain that they are uncomfortable with him specifically. <sighs> Far out. He's just wondering: is it something that I do, or is it my presence? <laughs> I'm crying inside. I think w Willow's going to try and kick off the back of what. Uh, 
sale started. Um, besides, aren't we supposed to start with uh, pleasantries? How was your day? Uh, did we... You weren't waiting long on the docks, were you? I have and, already um, answered already that asked. question. <laughs> he has memory problems, <laughs> as he mentioned. <clears throat> um... <laughs> Who is going to help you make tea? Biscuits. Where's Varys? Managing the ship. <laughs> he is not uh, in the... Part of this. No, I think Willow is going to say, I understand that my friend here is trying to um, smooth this over. Yes, you're trying to help the awkwardness of this conversation that keeps happening and then not happening. Bail gives a small nod. Hmm, but after a night of victory, I hardly want to talk about Mr. Bartosh. <laughs> the less said about him, the better. Indeed. So, perhaps we could instead enjoy what is soon to come for Regalport. I'm only keeping in mind the fact that this may be our only chance to speak in person for quite a while. That is quite likely. You have something you wish to share now is the time. Tarek looks at Willow. Tea first. Are they going to make Willow. a move or <laughs> Willow says tea first, we can sit and have tea first. <laughs> okay. Tea is had. Mm. Tea is served, rather. I hope that Fail and Tarek can talk in the meantime. Like it just yeah, if uh, casual conversation. If Derek seems up to it, Theo might talk a bit shop about like mm -hmm. stage hand stuff. Yeah, like props. And I think you. I think you and... say like, uh, I actually had the chance to see your work in theater, and he's like, Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, what did you Theo. Think of it? Yeah, Theo might specifically comment on some of the like prop work and such that he noticed as someone who has worked in the industry, essentially. Be like, oh, that was very clever. I, was... <laughs> I would never think to do it that way. You know? I was going to like... mention that Luca might actually, like, bring up his play that they got to go see it while they were in Regal Port. Very exciting. That kind of thing. Yeah. Well, Tarek is, is happy to talk about his um, work as a very neutral subject in terms of, like, conversation sensitivity right now. <laughs> um, I think he, like, talks about, like, how while he wrote the script of the theater and he had some influence in terms of, like, the vision, he was not the stage director and the the people at the Gallery of Shadows are very skilled, very capable. Um, he was very honored to have such an incredible array of, like, practiced talent and uh, craftsmanship to bring it to life. Um, yeah. Just pleasant conversation about theater production stuff. I'm gonna ask a quick background question. Willow's racking their mind. Do they have anything to give him? Gift-wise? Anything to make? Anything anything pre-made oh. like i'm just running through my mind of like what i feel like you recently got some little siren trinkets somewhere did i after you went to the um showing mm. of the folly of the four sons you went to a siren restaurant in regalport and you help people out. You also do have, like, some old things of your own time. How long do so. I have, while well, you guys are talking, if I excuse myself real quick, to make something move? Tinkerer-wise. Sing. I'd say, like, five to ten minutes. That's Not how long it would take long. me? I guess because it's magical tinkering. It's like same as a songbird kind of logic. Mm. 
Uh, have to do this. Roll me a investigation check, and this will be a fortune check, because I feel like Willow definitely would have had this in mind. Mm. And we'll just say that, like, the sort of quality of the roll um, will determine what you have. Uh, 15 and up is sort of basic. 20 is very good. Uh, mm. 25 is, like, excellent. Mm. So, uh, above 20 is very, very good, let's say. Uh, what would you have liked to have in mind as, like, this is a, let's say, 50% finished project. Like, 50 to 60% finished project that you can try and, like, tie up. So the majority of it is done, it's just not as polished as perhaps you would have liked it to be, because it's been something that you've been doing sort of in the background. Cool. Well, there's something I've been talking about in the background that I haven't probably said on screen, but I've mm -hmm. been talking a lot about how after the opera, Willow would have made a songbird. Mm -hmm. Another one. Mm -hmm. Specifically with one of the tunes from the opera on it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't think I had time to finish it because we've been yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah, I think what you've got is, like, the basic structure, but all of the, like, uh, surface ornamentation isn't there yet. Like, you had plans mm -hmm. for engraving and uh, decorative elements and stuff, so you've got, like, the basic shape of the bird, but not, like, the uh, feathers and so on. Mm. So It'd it's a little bit... if I just start making it while you guys talk. <laughs> At the table. <laughs> Do you have enough time to actually finish it? Do I? No. Maybe not. Damn. Well, that's a pity. Typical. But no, I do think it, that it works. It it's is... just not as it's just not finished in this to the standard that you would like. It's like just... handing somebody a, a rough sketch rather than a finished painting. Hmm. I think Willow's kind of just fiddling with it in their pocket. Hmm? Send it when Thale sends a message. Can't send gifts yet. I know it's. Um, yeah. No, it's it's different. It's one of those things. Yeah. I can. It's. Willow it wants to give it to him in person. I do I think mean, that listening to you guys talk and the kind of like dredge dredging kind of like frustration of like I can't talk to him. I know how to talk via things, you know. Mm. I just want to give him something because I can't give him conversation, basically. Mm -hmm. I think uh, after a lapse, Willow is going to bring out the map, at least. Like when we get mm -hmm. back to it, Willow is going to say like, well, it's getting, I won't leave you waiting any longer and bring out the map. They've evidently settled a little from the mm -hmm. tension. I believe the things that are due in exchange that I'm supposed to receive are a sending stone, a yes, yes. contract, and the map. Yeah, well, it would have, like, nodded, and they're bringing that all out along with it. I feel like Varys, like, perks his ear from the background and is like, what map is that? Oh, you guys Didn't have I never him? told him about it. No. No, I did. I thought we when? Like, played it out on the table in like the beginning of season two. Didn't we? When but we showed it to him. Didn't did we? You, you on did? the way did? here? I thought we did. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. <sighs> oh, I feel like I in, swear the, we did. in the grand scheme of us talking about this whole scheme, it must have come up. Maybe Surely. it happened when we were planning the bidet's events. I know? don't think it has come up because specifically Varys would have had a reaction to you guys having a map of the Demon Glass Reefs of Trabar Sinara, <laughs> and we've never done that. Therefore, this is the first time Varys is hearing about what exactly this map is that you've promised. Like you, oh. you I think you guys vaguely mentioned like you have something in exchange to buy Meraldine with, like some treasure. Uh-huh. Do I see Varys perk? Yeah. 
Okay, um, Willow's going to... Oh, one moment. And go over to Varys and show it to him now. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think this is going to be a... A charisma saving throw from Varys. <laughs> oh, honey. We're just both facing the window. <laughs> I don't think that's high enough. <laughs> So there's a loud what? <laughs> ah, Willow will hand on his face somewhere. It's just like a hiss conversation of why didn't you tell me this sooner? I thought we did. No, oh, how did you meet Lydia? <laughs> <laughs> she was a lovely singer. <laughs> I've taken the copy down. You don't have to worry. I'm just telling you the original words for the good bit. Regal Porter's frag is better than two. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, Willow. There's <laughs> just like. You can't just hand up the original map. Where did you even. How long have you had this? Yeah, I've had it in the same place that you got your pipe. I swear we've had this conversation before. No, we have not. Hey. Uh... <laughs> well, do you want us not to do it? How about we just, like, leave this open-ended, huh? Ferris, like, we? pinches his, his brows and says, <laughs> We're going to have words about this later. No, of course that we're going to have words about this later. Oh, I thought I did! We don't have a lot I of experience with dealing in this sort of thing. I have plenty of experience. You'll forgive us. Oh, anyway, you okay, Helmsman? Are we okay? Is this mutiny? What do we right now, but... Okay, so I'll just expect it later. No worries. Anyway, Mr. Elham Willow is going to return to the table as agreed upon. <laughs> None of this has gone as I intended, of course. But here's the map. Thank you. <laughs> says, I was also uh, going to give you a present, but it's not ready. Apparently I messed that up as well. My bad. <laughs> I was not expecting anything of, course, of, of course, the of course, nature. Of course. Yes, no. Honestly, if I think about it, it's, it's an interesting history anyway. I mean, I've never particularly been fond of the brats of making, <laughs> nor the snobs of Metro. That's besides the point, however. Did Willow just call him a brat? <laughs> no. He's Okay. They're calling House Kenneth brats. Okay. Um, I don't know. The brats of making was specifically like a The students of the of making. Just people the in making, making, so Tarek could yeah. have taken that personally. It <laughs> Um He's not reacted negatively to it. I think Varys has left the room and is going out and like smoking like a chimney. <laughs> oh, how annoying. <laughs> My crew is falling apart, Willis. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Pardon me. I think I just said something rude. I apparently can't find my way through a conversation. I don't want you to take this personally, however. I was sort of hopeful that I would be better at this by the time we spoke again. I'm not, but I suppose I might as well say it anyway. Um, <laughs> ah, <laughs> the, hmm, well, it looks flatly at him. Um, Please don't take it personally. I have been struggling to not see your, um, the, uh, um, no, rather Tarek touches, uh, the scars on his eyes a little self-consciously. <laughs> it's not that it's. Look, I've, I've, I've regretted not being warmer to you every day since the auction, yeah? I'm not telling you this to place a burden on you. I just want to explain myself, like, why I struggle to look at you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't prevent 
I'm sorry I couldn't prevent this from coming to pass. That is a regret many of us feel. Yes, but this rather specifically. And Did you commit I'm... the deed? No, I didn't, obviously. Is it your fault that we are now both without a nation? I, it's not about... Isn't it? Tarek, like, stands up and gets closer to you. What does Willow do? Um, I think Willow... That settles him a little. In the way of uh, being a bit taken aback. They take a bit of a step back when he stands up. I was hoping to get a chance to thank you for whatever intervention you had in bringing my murderer to justice. I know we briefly had a very terse conversation in the bathroom at the auction hall, and I would like to apologize for my brusqueness that night. Obviously, you are aware that I was not quite myself at the time. And I do not expect you to be the most masterful at articulating yourself. But I draw the line at you apologizing for things that you had no control over. He does a step back and sort of looks Willow over. It's unbecoming of a pirate to constantly preface themselves with apologies. Beg your pardon, just give me a second. I'm digging Willow's corpse out of the ground real quick. Um... Has Willow gone to hell? <laughs> Isn't that clear? <laughs> I, I, I think the comments about the apologies made Willow Sh shush. <laughs> the comment about piracy brings Willow back. Well, I suppose you'd know all about the conduct of a pirate. I have been living amongst them for the last few years. Some of them could afford to say sorry a little more frequently, I think. <laughs> Yours included. Meraldine is a harsh woman. Clearly. She's lived a harsh life. I don't need to defend her actions. She is... plenty capable of... Advocating for herself. <sighs> Let's start over. Thank you for helping to save my life. And thank you for assisting Meraldine. despite her protests to the contrary. Much as Meraldine has been a thorn in my side, in the side of all of Regalport this entire time, and I a thorn in hers, I understand. I can't discredit her tenacity. It's, uh... because of that that you're standing here today. And that I feel confident to plan with her at all. You see. Hmm. I can't uh, dismiss her too heavily. Her stubbornness has been an inspiration of sorts. Don't tell her. <laughs> I suppose if I were going to say my thanks, it would be... for what you're about to do. The combination of her particular nature and your warm-heartedness towards others, it's going to change 
everything, I think. Ideally. Fewer deaths. Less memorials. Few things I can say to say thank you for that, but yes, I suppose I can stop saying sorry and say what I really mean, which is... <sighs> that. Tarek sort of... tilts his head slightly and then nods slowly. I hope we can live up to your expectations. You will. I'm confident in it. Well. You already have, after all. He puts out his hand for a shake. It's unfinished, but Willow's going to reach into their pocket, pull out that little bird shape does it at least sing yeah it's just ugly a little bit under polished but I will and I think they uh, they're going to place that in Tarek's hand and close their other hand over top they are trying to be as sincere about this as possible Tarek looks a little bit surprised but closes his hands around the bird and yours. Not as polished as I'd like it to be, but... <sighs> Broken but functional feels poetic. You'd know. <laughs> <clears throat> I meant because you're a poet, not because you're... Oh, whatever. Just take it. Please just take it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the gift. Thank you for the patience. <laughs> Tarek looks at Nit and there's like uh, his eyes widen. Would you like to make an insight check? Uh, yeah, well, they just pulls their head back from head in their hands at what they just said to him. God, I messed everything up, blah, blah, blah. Yep, cool. That makes sense. <laughs> Could I insight check him too, or just... Yeah, I was just gonna say. Or can Willow take inspiration? They deserve to see. I'm not gonna take inspiration, but I will. Willow's head's probably in their hands. At like, oh my god, I messed yeah. that up. Why can I never yeah. say anything right? Yeah. Other people can make an insight check. 18. And... 17. <laughs> you guys all see it. While Willow's head's in their hands, and they're just like... <laughs> Yeah, so even though Willow cannot see the effects of what their gifts have done, as is usual, the okay, story of their okay. fucking life. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta, I just gotta to point that out, cause boy, why does this keep happening? Um, cause they're too fucking embarrassed to see to perceive themselves as part of it. Wow. Am I wrong? Continue with what are they seeing? You see, uh, Carrick's eyes widen as he beholds this little tin bird. Unfinished, rough in construction, but it sings beautifully. He immediately m recognizes the first notes of the overture of the folly of the four sons and quickly. Uh, clasps his hand around it to quiet the bird as he is overwhelmed by emotion touched. I feel like Willie's going to talk over him <laughs> if he doesn't. Because they're probably not looking at him <clears throat> again. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I believe you're keeping a letter correspondence with Failed, so I suppose we may hear from you in future, but I hope otherwise that you remain well and uh, we hear good things from you, not just about this project specifically, but about whatever else may be happening. Um, 
I hope the rest of the convocation is fine for you and that nothing happens and nothing bad comes back to the Silver Dancer. <clears throat> um, yes, likewise, thank you. Tarek also not listening to Willow. <laughs> <laughs> they are watching this. <laughs> It's like, and they'll just sip their tea like, uh-huh. it's like ships in the night playing table tennis but you've served balls and they've both like flown off wildly in the other direction <laughs> oh my god! it's like they're standing next to each other playing pong against the wall it's like why don't you just play together why don't you just share a ball <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> the bodyguard in the corner says <clears throat> And Tarek comes back to his senses in a little bit and says, Ah, yes, I should probably take my leave. I am sure you must be off soon as well. Mm. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Uh, before I go, he uh, gestures for the bodyguard and says, The payment in full, please. Uh, and the bodyguard <sighs> rolls his eyes and places down a heavy box on the table and Tarek says I persuaded Meraldine to provide let's say a gratuity for services rendered thank you very much for having me aboard he gives you each a slight inclination of the head in turn and says I hope to hear from you soon Thale Yes, about that. They all might kind of follow him to the door. Yes. yes. Uh, and pull out of his, like, uh, vest pocket. Mm-hmm. I hope you don't mind. I did take the liberty of writing our first letter. I offer an envelope. <laughs> he accepts it gratefully and says, Well, many thanks. <laughs> I will uh, respond to it as soon as I can. I know there is nothing more daunting than an empty page, so perhaps this can assist in knowing where to begin. If nothing else, mm. and Thale's gonna take his hand in both of Thale's, if nothing else, keep it as evidence that I exist, I am real, and you may always reach out. He squeezes your hand back tightly. A greater gift I could not ask for. Thale does a little bow and steps aside to let him go. And Tarek Elham leaves the ephemeral chaos. Oh my god. I think, um... Outside, like, Thale's little beautifully eloquent little exchange just then where he said everything he needed to say in, like, twin words or less. Aww. You see Willow inside, like, doing the, like, grabbing the face and just, by the seasons. Guys, I can't find my way through one single conversation. And just like <laughs> like downstairs, probably. I think they marched immediately downstairs to basically scream into a pillow. <laughs> Theo watches oh as go, goes over to Luca and like points at the suitcase <laughs> that's been left on the table. He's like, you wanna wanna have a look? Well, I'm You're screaming not. into a pillow downstairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Willow is like I imagine Willow doing like a real Looney Tunes face flops into the hammock and like spins themselves around. <laughs> <laughs> Just give them a moment. Just like, ah! <laughs> I honestly feel like they walked past, they grabbed a pillow, they've like locked themselves in the elemental room just so that they can like... Scream. Scream. Like, it, it may not even be a scream. It's just like a noise. Ah! Yeah, that, that kind of thing. <sighs> <laughs> Like, like brings out fish dog and it's like, oh, I didn't even show him you. <laughs> <laughs> like they're not saying this out loud, but their face is like conveying such a like, oh, I have one opportunity to talk to Tara Gellum and I bungled it. <laughs> did you though? I think you did okay. They, they think they, they don't bungled know. It. Oh, embarrassing. They embarrass themselves. That's what they're feeling at the moment. Like, of course oh, they, they said do. All this stuff. They called him broken oh. to his face. Ah, they just sit. Okay, so Willow's just agonizing silently in the background. Yeah, we're just Maybe gonna give someone can give you perspective when you come back up. Yeah, 
<laughs> in the meantime, Luke and Anne, would you like to open up this little box? Yeah. Yeah. We see uh, the camera sort of on your face, a uh, reverse shot as you open this little sort of uh, hand-sized chest. Uh, and you see a solid pound bar of platinum. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Dale and Luca make eye contact. It's like, oh. <laughs> when Luca looks back, it's Anne again. And Anne's got kind of like that. Oh, we got money. Luca. <laughs> we got money. <laughs> We're going to buy you so many pretty things with this. With a, a little note from Meraldine that says, oh. Don't spend it all in one place. With thanks, Meraldine. Oh. Can't guarantee this. <laughs> That's where we'll end today's session of oh, Metanoia Blue. <laughs>